The Streak by Ray Stevens. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of laughs. Oh, in this my God. I could even. Oh, yes, they call it The Streak. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that, that look, look at that. that. He likes to show off his physique. No, his fastest thing on two feet. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? Yeah. I think they said that later. Oh, oh, oh okay. I don't know what the order is. Someone it. help us out on this feedback. We're trying to remember who did that song where they, they put all the clips in it. The guy talks through it, and then there's clips of, of songs. Dickie Freeman or... I don't know. Someone can help us like out with that. that. What was the one song that was in... And then at the end of the streak, doesn't the woman, the old woman streaks? What's her name? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, they call him Chris Reeve. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even bat an eye when you break his feet. <laughs> All right. Why? Yeah, why? You He's did dead. it. You I don't know. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, I want to hear this. <laughs> we found Mr. Jaws, by the way, Anthony. Another song that was supposed to be funny. Oh. I don't know this song. You These know this song. song. This that song. They, for some reason, I don't know, was it the attitude back in uh, the 70s or something? That was, this was hysterical. P P the radio stations played this multiple times a day. Every radio station. It was the rage. People talked about it. And laughed and laughed and laughed. What the hell were they thinking? Uh, I don't, I don't There's no know. relative comparison, that's why, because everything like on radio is probably soft and well, no, cute and awful. This had something to do with Jaws Mania, though, too. Jaws Mania, sweeping the nation. Yeah, Jaws Mania was sweeping the nation, and uh, so this song came out, and yeah. I guess we were supposed to laugh and laugh. Laugh, that, the streak. Another novelty, funny song. <laughs> yeah, we found the streak, but we should play Mr. Jaws first. Oh, yes. Because there's a lot of goodness in this Ooh. song. Now, what this guy did was... Uh, he he would talk and then uh, ask questions like an interviewer, and then the answers would be popular songs from the time that was uh, going on. And that was his gig. That was his shtick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we uh, listen in here? This was Jaws. Hit it. She's oh. We are here on the beach where a giant shark has just eaten a girl swimmer. Well, Mr. Jaws, how was it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm getting I don't think I'm going to make it through this. I'm getting the douche chills. I, I really don't think I'm going to be able to make it through this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, can we agree not to look at each other during this? <laughs> I'm really having a hard time. I am that was pretty funny, though. The the shut up. Chill. Start it over. No. <laughs> yeah, no I want to hear the JJ thing, because he's like talking to him, but he's not really there. All right, let's hit it again. Oh, no. We are here on the beach where a giant shark has just eaten a girl swimmer. Well, Mr. Jaws, how was it? And what did she say when you grabbed her? Please, Mr. Please. I know sharks are stupid, but what did you think when you took that first bite? How sweet it is. Mr. Oh. Jaws, before you swim out to sea, have you anything else to say? What do you think so far? Uh, look, look, look. It's funny. I have to leave. I have to leave the studio. I cannot be in the same room as this song. It's a funny song. It's, it's like the clips are like, the, but they're not really there. Shut up! I <laughs> smell bit. No. I am the greatest at smelling bits, and I smell have bit. Have you smelt one out? You're like a truffle-smelling pig. I <laughs> smell <laughs> bit. Rifles around and... <laughs> <laughs> bit. <laughs> I smell bit. What are you sniffing out here? We have very, very, very talented listeners out there. That and have some uh, after a year and uh, a few months, you'd think one of them would have called or sent something in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just have to deal with the ones that do send things in. <laughs> yes, but uh, I smell bit. There's a lot of great things. You want things. people to do this? Yeah, there's a lot of great things that have happened on this program in the last uh, <laughs> year or so. you got to get the voice just right with uh, Mr. John. Hey! 
Mr. Jaws. And maybe tell a little story about the Opie and Anthony program. We're and... here in the O&A studios. Right. And then oh. uh, use lyrics from uh, from songs. From popular songs. Popular songs, old songs. I don't give a crap. Uh, it's from a, from a little movie called Help a Rascal, 2005. <laughs> I <laughs> smell bit. Jimmy, you're looking a little sick today. Problem? AIDS. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. <laughs> Everyone has AIDS. <laughs> there you go. There's a little starter for you. A little starter kit. We'll do a little starter kit for you. But I smell bits. That's pretty funny. Well, can't we be friends? Uh, uh, that was a shark's answer. Right. But it was a popular song. Yes, as I get up to choke you. Why? Shut up. <laughs> we want to get back to Mr. Jaws, but I smell bit. I know my... You, just imagine what the listeners will come up. A little story and uh, using, you know, clips using of songs. Using clips of songs. Uh, fantastic. Absolutely. It's an homage. Hopefully we'll get some in very, very soon. Let's uh, let's go back to Mr. Jaws by Dick Goodman. <laughs> oh, I have to do that? All right. funny. With me now is the local sheriff, Sheriff Brody. The shark will oh. be back for lunch. What do you intend to do? Oh. No. Just arriving is oceanographer Matt Hooper. <laughs> Sir, if someone is attacked by a shark, what should they do? <laughs> we are going aboard the fishing boat of Captain Why Clint. would you do the Captain, hustle? will you be able to catch this giant shark? I will, I will, I will. Thank you, Captain. Captain, Captain, Captain. When you catch one of these sharks, what do you feel like? Like a just sighted the shark again. He's coming straight for us. Captain Quint is shouting something at him. Hey, Jaws, the captain says he's going to catch you. What do you think of that? Uh-oh, here he comes again. They've hit him. Mr. Jaws, why doesn't anything seem to hurt you? He's coming right onto the boat. Mr. Jaws, why are you grabbing my hand? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? No, wait. <laughs> Mr. Jaws, that's not the way this record is supposed to end. Help! Help! Oh, water sound effect. Dude, I cannot convey to you what a huge success hit that was. That song was massive. That, that thing, whatever it was. What year did that come out there, Hawk? Let's look on the master computer. And my Bruce Springsteen and Neil Diamond are not the same. <laughs> Bad Scott. You're being banned. Yeah, just right now. Boy. Ban him, Ban. Good boy. Uh, it doesn't matter what year it came out. <laughs> um, uh, I, why, why, why is uh, J Mr. Jaws, why are you wearing a robe and coughing? Ba -da -ba -da -bum, here's the story. <laughs> 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 we could redo the uh, original song, too. Oh. Oh, I think we should. Make it a little fancier. With the awful songs, <laughs> all those songs that he played were hits of the day. Those are all the big hit songs that yeah. were out when he was yeah. uh, doing putting that together. Wow. Well, we'll see what the listeners come up with. Do the hustle. Well, that's what you're going to do. What are you going to do when a shark comes? Yeah, you do, you the, do hustle. the hustle. Wait, because you got no chance. You might as well have a little fun. Do the hustle. Eh, sure. All right, well, that was wonderful, huh? But I want to have some laughs, dude. Good one. Let's say hi to Lonnie in North Carolina. Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hey, boy and girl name. How are you? <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, little Jimmy, I'm with you on this song, man. Uh, I'm 38 years old, and I remember this song like it was uh, played yesterday. Wait, which song? Oh, the, song. the Jaws song. No, no, Aunt remember. Yeah, I, actually I, re don't I remember it uh, uh, from uh, sure. when I was a little kid growing up. For me, it was the streak. For him, it was this one. Yeah, the streak. Well, we can play the streak as well. Oh, well, they call it this. Uh, there's too many laughs. If you play yeah, the streak remember, now, I, too many laughs. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the streak too. That was a pretty Oof. cool. Song. I used to, I, dude, I swear to God, because I always wanted to be a performer. I used to pretend I was singing because I thought it was funny. <laughs> you used to, <laughs> dude. I really thought Ray Stevens was hilarious. Oh yeah. And uh, I, think, I think my parents still have the uh, album. The little, or the little, the little forty-five. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. All right, you want to hear the streak? This one I used to think was really funny. Of course. We're now playing Disco Duck. That was great. You nah, always find you the rapping Duke. No, nah, you got to draw the, the line rapping somewhere. rapping Duke. <laughs> that always made me laugh, too. Disco, Disco Duck. Yeah, I do remember, remember that one. Yes, I do. It was in Saturday Night Fever, actually, when uh, they walked in, when Tony Manero walked into the uh, dance rehearsal place, and all the old people were learning Disco to Disco Duck. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. No. 
Hope he's great. I want to hear Disco Chicken as it was sung in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read the headline here in New York? All right. And then we'll get into Mr. Street. Okay. Please. We're all over the place today, but it's the day before Thanksgiving. We don't really care. Hope you're enjoying this. The headline in New York, no one's going to beat this in uh, in the entire country today. The headline reads, priests must go three years gay-free. Gay-free. <laughs> three years, no cock. <laughs> For three years. <laughs> That's a ruling? That's the headline. Priests must go three years gay free. <laughs> what it like what what's their um criteria for gay free? No nuzzling? <laughs> or do you have to have a cock in your ass? <laughs> and I'm wondering if they're gonna test them. Yeah, how do you test that out? Smell their t- <laughs> yeah, you smell their breath. You smile if there's a tadpole tail in your teeth, you're probably guilty. <laughs> <laughs> or they throw soap down. If you immediately go to get it, you're a fag. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is coming from the Vatican, Anthony. Vatican City. The Vatican yes, says homosexuals who are sexually active or support gay culture are mm. unwelcome in the priesthood unless they have overcome their homosexual tendencies for at least three years. <laughs> overcome. They make it like it's uh, it's one of them switches. Do they have meetings? Up. Hi, I'm Father Frank, and I'm a cocksucker. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Hi, Frank. <laughs> It's been three years and two months since I licked the helmet. (laughs) (laughs) AA meeting for cock. (laughs) What's your story? I came really close. Uh, I saw a guy in a urinal. I made the yummy noise. (laughs) But I called my sponsor. In the 12-inch program? (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, this is the long-awaited document. It's scheduled to be released by the Vatican on November 29th and was posted on the Internet yesterday by the Italian Catholic News Agency. The document said that the church, while deeply respecting the people in question, cannot admit to the seminary and the sacred orders those who practice homosexuality, yeah. present deeply rooted homosexual tendencies, or support deep so-called rooted. gay culture. Wow. The document the document said that if uh, candidates for the priesthood have only homosexual tendencies, such as in the case of an unfinished adolescence, those tendencies ah. must be clearly overcome for at least three years before ordination as a deacon. So if you're jacking uh, in bed with a friend, uh, like Rich Voss told that story, mm-hmm. you got to wait three years after that? you got to wait three years. you got to be gay-free for three years, and then they'll consider mm-hmm. you for the priesthood. Imagine if you get close. What happened? Oh. Huh? I blew it. <laughs> <laughs> no one's beating that headline today. That's good. Headline. That's the good one. Head- yeah, get it. Yeah. Yeah. Headline. Headline, yeah. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Where were we? Streak. All right, let's go back to the streak here. You really like this song growing up, Jimmy? You're not kidding. When I was a, when I was very young, uh, I would put on my laughing hat. Oh yeah. And just I really wished I was singing. I forget what parts I thought were like really cool. Again, this was giant. It was another massive. song that was massive. It would be played every day. You would hear it probably five times a day just in casual listening. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> hey, look at that! My favorite part though. <laughs> Any song with a wacky sound effect in it, eh, ah, it's great. Here it is. Hello, everyone. This is your Action News reporter with all uh-huh. the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket. There seems to have been some disturbance here. Pardon me, sir. Did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. I was standing over by the tomatoes, and here he come, running through the pole beans, through the fruits and vegetables, naked as a jaybird. And I hollered over down the laps. Don't look at the opening. It's too late. She'd already been in the sand. Here he comes. Boogie there, boogie there. There he goes. Boogie there, boogie there. And he ain't wearing no clothes. Oh, yes, they call him the street. <laughs> That's his thing on two feet. That's his thing on two feet. Boogie there, boogie there. He's just as proud as he can be. Oh. His anatomy. <laughs> he gonna give us a peek. <laughs> he was a, the father of American family, and now he has HIV. <laughs> <laughs> you 
him. <laughs> oh, yes, they call him Robert Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't get off his knees. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of like a wacky horn, you have like a family going. <laughs> <laughs> His weight is down to 73. <laughs> uh, it all comes back to that. <laughs> he said, where's my R-O-B-E? <laughs> let's, let's listen to a little more here. If there's an audience to be found, you'll be speaking it round, inviting public critique. Yeah. This is your action news reporter once again, and we're here at the gas station. Pardon me, sir, did you see what happened? Yeah, the I was just in here getting my car checked, and he disappeared out of the trap. Come streaking around the grease right there. Didn't have nothing on but a smile. I looked in there and Ethel was getting her cold drink. I hollered, don't look, Ethel! And it's too late. She'd already been mooned. Flashed her right there in front of the shock of the song. Boogity, boogity. He ain't He jumped in the mood to ride in the news. What do you say, call in the street? Boogity, boogity. He likes to turn the other cheek. In the news, when just this tennis shoe, guess you could call him unique. <laughs> He's always making the news. You know, it's run by the juice. Try <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, have on that one. <laughs> Once again, your action news reporter in the booth at the gym Horrible. the disturbance at the basketball playoff. Pardon me, sir. Did you see what happened? Yeah, thief. Hey, I'm just going down there to get Ethel a snow cone. Here he come, right out of the cheap seat. Dribbling. Right down the middle of the court. Didn't have on nothing but his head. Made a hook shot and got out through the confession stand. I hollered up at Ethel. I said, don't look, Ethel. Too late. She'd already got a free shot. Grand step. Right there in front of the home table. What is it calling the street? Here it comes again. Who's that with it? Ethel. Is that you, Ethel? What do you think you're doing? You gon' give us You get your clothes off. See, it gets really funny because now Ethel is streaking. Ethel, where you go? Oh. He put his cock in a bad place. Now he's got sores on his face. <laughs> <laughs> the streak is not nearly as bad as that Jaws song. Equally as bad. No, I say the streak is actually a good song. Yeah, the Jaws song is definitely worse. The streak is at least well written. Well written. Yeah, the lines are okay. It's just you know, outdated. Mm. It Hope is a little listeners. dated, isn't it? A little it? bit. Wasn't streaking all the rage? Yeah, he likes to turn the other cheek. Oh, guy, yeah. guy fucking runs naked through a grease pit. You gotta respect that. <laughs> Guy's in a jiffy little whack in his bag. He sees Ethel. <laughs> He's like, I want to show her my cock and balls. What do you think of them apples, fella? <laughs> fucking Ethel looks. <laughs> Ethel loved it. All right. Uh, let's say hi to Wayne in Alaska. Uh, Wayne. Yeah. Hey, Wayne. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Hello, Wayne. We're all right, man. What's up, OB Anthony? Hey, man. What up? Hey, sweetie. Hello. Great. Hi. <laughs> Look at this guy. There, hey, boy, what's up with the uh, air in Alaska? <laughs> oh, it's cold, man. Cold. Like 10 below. Uh, 10 below. That's, uh, yeah. that's nothing. I was, one, I, was, I, was, I was thinking to myself a while ago, if y'all was wanting to get out of the cold, I'd like to get out of the cold, too. I'll be headed back down stateside for long. Where are you from? Juneau, Tennessee? <laughs> You don't sound Alaskan. <laughs> Texas. I, I, I was born and raised in Texas. Oh, you are? Okay. All See, right. I'm good with that. I pick up the accent. Uh, I just want to tell you what a hell of a job y'all doing, man. Y'all just funny as hell, man. Thank just you, man. Funny as hell. Thank you, man. Y'all doing an excellent job. Excellent and job. we care why. Opie! Let's <laughs> <laughs> make the opening. Thank you, Alaska. Yeah. All right, Alaska. You're welcome, boys. See ya. Y'all be good. It's not every day right. we get a call from Alaska. Thank you, right. Wayne. What does he easy. have to say? Stone Cold! <laughs> <laughs>
All right, see you later, seal fucker. <laughs> you think the listeners will do that bit of for us? Of course they will. I hope so. That could be the new bit. We haven't had a new bit for the listeners to really jump on in a while. <laughs> oh, no, say this is so Ethel. Let's close up. <laughs> Pass this thing with flame shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, they call him Steve C. <laughs> Oh, I can't think of a small thing. Fuck. <laughs> Chris from Boston. Hey, Professor Anthony, there was another awful parody song in the 70s. It was called Eugene. It was sung by this guy putting on an awful Italian guinea voice, and the chorus was, I'm Eugene. I'm a cool dude in a loose mood. I don't remember that one. He asked. Please tell me you know it. You I know. know. Shut up of your face. That was... Oh, excuse me. I thought somebody... Let me, let me just make sure this didn't just happen. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought of Shut Up at Your Face, which is the type of song that just makes me want to fucking cut my own throat. And yeah. then you said the name of the song, and I thought somebody in this room said the name of the artist without blinking. I could be wrong. Could it be possible? Yeah, I knew it. How did you know it? I don't know. I didn't Big song when you were working at PLJ? No, nah, he's already uh, knew it. He hasn't made that three-year mark yet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, that qualifies. <laughs> that could keep you out of the church, sir. <laughs> well, you got to start over. Start <laughs> over. I, I just said Lou Monty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that? Do uh, you have shit up in your face? <laughs> All right, let's say hi to Mike in New Hampshire as uh, E-Rock tries to find that. Mike? Mike, hey! Ah, oh, he had a good one, too. Ah. Sometimes All right. they get away. Sometimes they just... Look at walking carpet. Get this away. is torture, you lazy bastards. <laughs> not being lazy. It, it, you play it and you almost get hypnotized. You know how many laughs we've given you so far today? Yeah. Four. I say four. <laughs> count them. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Not in there. Oh, Why? That's, that's too bad. It's not. <laughs> oh. It's not in there. I thought they had told us that every single song you could possibly <laughs> imagine was in the system. In the uh, XM. The master computer? Yeah. Okay. What was another one? I, 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 there were so many of those stupid fucking songs back then. Oh, God. I uh, I liked uh, Rappin' Rodney myself. That was a song that was funny. Oh, Pretty bad. That was a good one. Really bad. Kidney-shaped pool with a stone in it. Rodney. I loved Oh, it. Rodney. I loved uh, Rappin' Rodney. I pay him all right now, but last week I was in rough shape. Oh. So I don't get a break with nothing. <laughs> I played hide and seek when I was three. No respect. No oh. respect. Why they wouldn't even look for me. No oh. respect. No respect. I was an ugly kid. I never had fun. No respect. No respect. They took me to a dog show and I won. No respect. No respect. When I was born, I brought no joy. No respect. No respect. My old man said he wanted a boy. No respect. No respect. I was an ugly kid, always alone. No respect. No respect. Halloween, I had a trick or treat over the phone. No respect. No respect. Friends really don't call, scary. my phone don't okay. ring. I don't get a break with anything. What's the matter, Rodney? Ah, uh, death, where is my sting? It's just rap and Rodney. Ain't that the type? No. Wow. Rap and Rodney. Get out of sight. It's just rap and Rodney. I put the pussy in its place, uh, and right before I nod, I pull it out into the face and tell the bitch to keep sucking and prepare herself for her first butt fucking. <laughs> That's NWA. Rodney yes. does some fucking ghetto boys. Oh, that was ghetto boys? Same thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> Same guys. Yeah. So I said washing machine door. <laughs> He's rapping Richard. <laughs> we should be rapping Richard. <laughs> we're, we're just doing a we're, we're just doing a show meeting live on the air today. It's a barn-shaped pool with horse teeth in it. He's rapping Richard. Rapping Richard. <laughs> no dignity. No dignity. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, hands like turtle feet. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Brand new jokes, I only have a few. <laughs> I'm the only tattooed Jew. <laughs> uh, uh, no respect. <laughs> that is awful. Oh, that really is terrible. <laughs> Rap 
<laughs> Rappin' Richard. What rhymes with 1978 BMW purchase? <laughs> Asshole you are. <laughs> uh, Eugene might be by Crazy Joe and the Variable Speed Band. I'm trying to find Eugene today. What about the King Tut song? Yeah, that was another one that was supposed to be funny. Right? Oh, oh is that bad? That's actually on my iPod because I uploaded the whole St the, the uh, whole Steve Martin. Yeah. Whew. Some of his stuff was is like mildly amusing in hindsight, but that shit Awful. does not hold up. King Tut. That whole fucking CD does not hold up. You got it. Oh. Uh, but again, huge hit. Cornball. The boy king. How do you get so funky? Uh. Did you do the monkey? Oh, the this is horrid. It's fucking awful. Now, if I'd known that line up just to see him, I'd take it all. If you don't pause that hawk, I'm going to kick your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb hawk. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pause the song, got a mouthful of sneaker, King Hawk. <laughs> We could play the turkey song by Adam Sandler. Today. How'd you get so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> stupid hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, first of all, King Tut was not a hunky, you irrelevant asshole with an arrow yeah. to your head. He was black. <laughs> oh. oh, so fucking donkey doesn't rhyme. That song is... It's embarrassingly bad, and so is that whole stupid, fucking, almost biggest comedy album of all time CD. Huge. It's corny. Huge. All right, we're going to step aside, and we'll get cat back to... Cat handcuffs? I bought a pair of cat handcuffs. We'll get back Did to... Did you? We'll get back <laughs> to our local... <laughs> Three. Uh, the cat was misbehaving? <laughs> was he? Did you? Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Dickie Goodman did a shitty Watergate song. Is there a Watergate song by him? He in the same style as the Jaws song? Yeah, I think it was the follow-up hit. He did a couple of them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good, man. It would be the it was first terrific. one. What? Mr. President? Mr. President? I'm guessing, Is yeah. it him? Says him. Well, let's give it a shot, Hawk. Gotta be, then. Let's give it a whirl before we get our hair pulled. Yeah, let me, let me oh, let's wow. see if it is. Oh, you're What did you do? <laughs> wow, are you tripping oh, What are you doing with oh, your stupid fucking... Hawk. Why did you have a band-aid on your finger? Open. Cut your finger doing what? I don't know. Besides not working. Hurry up, get the song. He's a stupid twat. Balls have covered with icy hot. <laughs> e rock. Stupid e rock. E rock. <laughs> Hit it. And now for the news, we take you to the White House. Mr. President, oh, okay. have you any statement regarding Watergate? I'm a I'm a How would you describe the Watergate incident? <laughs> Mr. President, what were you doing at the time the incident took place? Dragon wine, booty, booty, dragon wine. And how do you feel about it now? Here I am, stuck in the middle. Mr. President, oh what will your position be from now on? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Please, please, please. This is 1973. <laughs> what will you be saying at election time in 1976? It's been three. Uh, just yeah. arriving is the first lady. Uh, how would you describe the president? She's a free and gentle flower. This wild. is so bad. Uh, with me now is John Snitchell. And uh, Mr. Snitchell, who do you believe was responsible for Watergate? In a phone call, Mrs. Snitchell had this to say. He's the funkiest worm in the world. Here with me is John Bean. A uh, sir... How do you think the president will wind up at the end of all this? Reeling in the east, 
this is Mr. even worse President, than the Jaws one. What do you feel you have going in your favor? Have you any final message for the American people? This better be over. What? This record is not over. The vice president has just arrived. Sir, can you tell us who will be the next president of the United States? And not only that, he got everything wrong. <laughs> the, the um, the worst part about that song, besides the devoid of humor aspect, <laughs> yeah, is that it was the follow-up, and he figured it'd be hit number two. <laughs> no, that had to be beforehand. It was seventy-three. Oh yeah, seventy-three. Jaws came out in like seventy. So someone said that song is so good, we're gonna allow you to make another we'll one. Make another one. Or unless he just put it after that and and made, put seventy-three. Uh, the, no, because then he wouldn't. He he but, would have known that. The vice president, Spiro oh, yeah. Agnew, never became oh, president. Oh, you're right, you're right, okay. Well, I don't, I don't, what's the guy's name? Dick Goodman. Dick, Dick Goodman. Goodman. Let's I think all, he's dead, by the way. Let's hope so. <laughs> and, and let's hope it was prostate cancer, which developed in his gums. <laughs> what? <laughs> we were talking about the Dickie Goodman remixes. Remember Mr. Jaws we played last week? We asked the listeners to make their own. We have five that came in. This yeah. thing, I, it might take off. We're not really sure. Uh, just before Thanksgiving... Do you even remember doing a show before Thanksgiving? That Wednesday show was so fucking out there. I, I heard the replay. Yeah. We were just goofing off more than usual. Why not? It was fun. And we were talking about all the uh, the bad songs that came out in the 70s. One of them was um, the Dickie Goodman, uh, Mr. Jaws. Mr. Jaws. The Jaws song. Yeah. Do we have that? We should play that again for everybody. Or at least a piece of it. Yeah, we'll play the whole damn thing. I think it's only, what, a minute and a half or something like that, two minutes long? It's so bad. Well, I want to play this as an example, because now what's happening, the listeners are now trying to make their own Dickie Goodman-type songs for the radio yeah. show. They're Dickie Goodman songs. Dickie Goodman used to uh, uh, do these little narratives, and he'd, uh, he'd be like a reporter on the street. And he'd ask questions, and the questions were answered by popular music of the day. Yes. Like he'd take a line from a song that was very, very popular when he uh, wrote this. So now not only are the songs all dated, but the the whole gimmick itself is hacky, and the uh, the questions and then the answers with the music are just douche chilling. It's horrible. But these were hugely popular back when when he did them. And, uh, well, the listeners are sitting in their own. And they're right. just as bad. They're bad. They're so not far. doing good Dickie Goodman impressions. That's why I want to <laughs> replay good, you know, the original. Yeah, here on the street, like stupid Dickie does. Yeah, that's why we want to replay the original so they get uh, a better idea. And then we're, we're listening to the ones that the listeners submitted. Yeah. And uh, these fucking guys, holy crap, they, they, they put us in a really uncomfortable situation. There's one that we will play for everybody. That's extremely racist. Extremely. Yeah, the guy just put together a bunch of, like, he just went the complete racist route. It's not even funny. What do you do, take a bunch of things that we've said? Yeah, and no. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's a fine uh, black gentleman that was helping out Jaime yeah. in studio, getting ready for the broadcast. And over the monitors, as we're sitting here reading the papers, getting ready for the show, blaring is is blaring the N word over and over again. And I'm sw I'm I'm getting like flop sweat. Like holy shit, will you guys turn yeah. this down? Do you turn see what's off. going on here? You have a moment where you think your internal thoughts are being played. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> turn it off. And they thought they j were just laughing and laughing in that yeah. room. They thought it was just hilarious that we were in that uncomfortable situation. Payback is a bitch, boys. All right, here's uh, the Dickie Goodman, uh, the original song. Let's play this so people get an idea again, okay? Hit it. We are here on the beach where a giant shark has just eaten a girl swimmer. Well, Mr. Jaws, how was it? And what did she say when you grabbed her? Please, Mr. Please. I know sharks are stupid, but what did you think when you took that first bite? How sweet it is. Mr. Jaws, before you swim out to sea, have you anything else to say? I can't With me now is the local sheriff. Sheriff Brody, the shark will be back for lunch. What do you intend to do? To 
just arriving is oceanographer Matt Hooper. Sir, if someone is attacked by a shark, what should they do? We are going aboard the fishing boat of Captain Quint. Captain, will you be able to catch this giant shark? I will, I will, I will. Thank you, Captain. Captain, 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 when you catch one of these sharks, what do you feel like? Like a We've just sighted the shark again. He's coming straight for us. Captain Quint is shouting something at him. Hey, Jaws, oh, the captain says awful. he's going to catch you. What do you think of that? Uh-oh, here he comes again. They've hit him. Mr. Jaws, why doesn't anything seem to hurt you? He's coming right onto the boat. Mr. Jaws, why are you grabbing my hand? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? No, wait. Oh. Mr. Jaws, that's not the way this record is supposed to end. Help! But he's obviously not a friend because he's yeah. trying to eat him. So, and why sh he should have done the hustle? And he should have grabbed his writing hand. <laughs> and the bottom line is, this is what, what a great comic sense he has. You don't say hand twice, shit face. It should have been why are you why are you ripping at my wrist? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? You yes. hide the joke a little, right? Hide it a little. The he, sad he part, did hide the joke. Yeah, he completely. Said, he buried it under dreck. It's been thirty years and no one's found it either. <laughs> <laughs> the sad part, yeah, that, that song was huge when it came out. Huge. When did it come out? Like 1976, right around the time yeah, the movie came out? 77 or whatever? Out. Right after the and movie. And it was massive. And he had a few of these uh, back in the day. Who was laughing at that, though? Like, who would hear that guy do the hustle? Did you That's... hear the Jaws uh, song on uh, the radio, Dickie Goodman? Uh, God, is that funny. What stations played it? You think NEW played Everybody it? Everybody did. Every, Every yeah, pop station. Pop station was playing Every that. Every pop station. Crap. That was heard on AM radio. All right, so the listeners have sent in their own. And we got to start somewhere. You guys got to understand that. And uh, someone made one for um, Space Hitler. Space Hitler. This bizarre concept that Anthony came up with out of nowhere. It's one of my favorite new characters. And, it's like uh, a comic book character. It's slowly but surely developing. Yeah, people have photoshopped it on the message boards. They've uh, taken it upon themselves to take Hitler and put him in space-like situations. I even did one. I put him in a Flash Gordon movie poster. Space Hitler. It's wonderful. It's a great concept that should, uh, someone should run with it. Someone with talent. You don't understand Space Hitler? Not yet. I never heard no. of it. No. Because there, there's no such thing. I made it up. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, I, I didn't even hear your, ca your character. It's not really a character. It's, it's just, just take Hitler and put him in space. He obviously didn't work too well here on Earth. No. But in space, where he's battling evil, he's so evil that he'd probably do well. No good. There's no good people because they would be trying to fight Hitler. Space Hitler just fucks with evil people in space. Yeah, like the aliens that are kind of taking a look at us And he right takes, now. like, Nazi stuff, but it's space-age Nazi stuff. So you're saying... So the that... Panzer tank is now like a Panzer ship. Oh. And Space Hitler is dressed like Hitler, but only it's very futuristic garb. It's a, it's a tighter uniform? Yeah, like Mylar. Yeah. So he'd probably like Darth Vader, yet try to kill Darth Vader's voice. Right. <laughs> and try to kill the guy that actually made the movie. Right. <laughs> and produced it. <laughs> and all the producers in Hollywood. But Peter Cushing, he'd be very fond of. <laughs> of course he would. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. I just like same little mustache, which is kind of ridiculous in space. Yeah. But that's part of his look, so you space Hitler. Well, P. Niggity came up with a space Hitler thing done the Dickie uh, Goodman way. Of course it is. Let's take a listen, see if we could uh, get through the the whole thing. That's the goal when you send this stuff in to us. Ah, right. To get us to get to the end. Hit it. This is London calling. Here is a news flash. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. Repeat that. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. We are here in outer space with a 20th century dictator in a 21st century rocket ship. Here's Space Hitler. Space Hitler, you killed yourself near the end of World War II. How is it that you're traveling through outer space? I don't know. Very interesting. 
Yeah, I just want to stop it for a second. I like it already. <laughs> of course, Jimmy likes it. <laughs> can you back it up slightly if you can? <laughs> well, the guy's not using the. We want. If you guys are going to do these, we want to. Do you got to use the excited Dickie Goodman voice. Got to do the Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Mr. Space Hitler. Right, exactly. He's just like overly hey, excited. We're Space here. Space Hitler. Uh, you died in World War II. Why? Why are you in space? No. I'm here on the street talking to Space Hitler. There you go. Anyone Have some can do excitement. That voice. All right, let's uh, get back to it. P negative. How is it that you're traveling through outer space? Very interesting, Space Hitler. You are rumored to have exterminated six million Jews. Can you give us your reaction? Very funny, Space Hitler. Is there another group of minorities you've had your sights set on for total annihilation this time around? What were you thinking when colored athlete Jesse Owens did so well in the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Here comes Benito Mussolini. Or should I call him... Space Duce. <laughs> Benito, anything that you'd like to say about Space Hitler? He's my favorite honky! Space Hitler, <laughs> how did Ava Braun take the cyanide on that final day in the bunker? <laughs> Any thoughts on racial integration? I That's all the time we have for today. Farewell, Space Hitler. Okay. All right. Look. He got some really bad songs in there, which is part of the bit. Yeah. Y you can't try to do it well. you got to put some real bad things in there. He uh, he gets a passing grade. Passing grade. Better than Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Give him a C+. Plus. C+. Plus. I don't like his Dickie Goodman impression or lack thereof. Yeah, you need to do the Dickie Goodman impression if you're going to do these. Yeah, it's got to be very exciting. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he had a couple of bad ones. That was good, though. <laughs> He's my favorite honky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there were a couple laughs in there. Yeah. The next one was uh, sent in by Inbred. Let's take a listen to this one. These are two of the best observers of our uh, current social culture and the funniest guys ever to crack a mic. So please welcome to XM, Ungagged, Opie and Anthony. Hello, my friend. Hello. It's really good to have you here. We have an audience full of uh, O&A fans, and they'll get uh, shot at you throughout the hour here. But uh, now that you're officially ungagged, what do you have to say for yourself? Wait, wait, so you bring uh, stop. stop. <laughs> hey, fuckface, how about this? One line from the song, not the whole thing, and then the chorus. Right. You just <laughs> need... You forgot the guitar solo, shithead. <laughs> you just need, we're not going to take it. Right. Yeah, not, we're not going to take it. <laughs> no, we're not going to take it. <laughs> but where um, we get it. We so get it. We're not going to take it. Really? You're not quick and <laughs> easy. <laughs> so I... I uh, and 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 he's not even answering uh, uh, asking the questions. This, these are questions that are from our interview right. that we did here at XM. Are we going to try uh, some more of this inbred one? I say we give it one more uh, one more moment. Yeah, All right, let's yeah. give it another moment. Let so we're listening to inbred doing his Dickie Goodman remix here for the sh for the Opie and Anthony show. Hit it. So you bringing the, your crew back with you? Turkey, turkey. Do any new bits for the internet, or could you do that? There's a room full of your fans out here who've come from as far away as New Jersey. Step up to the mic. Tell us your name, though. I'm Dan from New Jersey. Uh, are you going to have any more Asbury Park type festivals? On the road again. Dan just uh, gave me the one minute. Wow. Sign I and I said to myself, no way. Just a minute left. <laughs> no way. My favorite uh -uh. part of the song was, what do you think of the guy who made this song? And I, we have to find a sound clip where it says, I hope he gets cancer. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hard clip to find. It. Good point, Ed. Good Musical point. Musical format. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the next one. We're Something done. out of rent, perhaps we could find. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my robe? Up, 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 up. <laughs> We want to thank Inbred for... <laughs> I need my soup today. <laughs> Only broth, as you know. I can't hold anything down. <laughs> can't hold it down. Can't hold it down. 
I mean, you have little things dressed like food particles. He sh he threw us right up. He threw us right up. No, was, was a, he thought he had the sniffles <laughs> one day. The guy in a dog costume. He can't even walk me anymore. <laughs> 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 All right, we're done with inbred. <laughs> sores, sores. I'm covered in sores, sores. A guy dressed like a penis with just brown all over the top going, this is how this problem started. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away, way, way from the cock. Big finale. <laughs> with, with the Rockettes. <laughs> All right, want to try the next one here? All right. The next one came in from um, Rob C. Mm -hmm. Mr. Norton and Friends. <clears throat> oh. His uh, Dickie Goodman remix for the Opie and Anthony program. We're here in the Opie and Anthony studios talking to co-host Jim Norton. Mr. Norton, I'd hate to ask, what is that in your chest? What's great for a snack? It's this on your back. It's log, log, log. Oh, oh sweet God. Jesus. Why on earth would you do that? I'm a scat man. I don't really understand. You mean to tell me that... Oh, shit all over your face, kid. <laughs> that is revolting. At least you seem to have a lovely lady with you. Excuse me, miss. What's your story? I'm just a sweet Ugh. <laughs> well, anyway, if you don't mind me saying, Mr. Norton, you're looking quite thin. What's your secret? Exercise? Diet? AIDS. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Did you just say you had... AIDS, AIDS, AIDS! Okay. I guess I did hear you. So what do you do in your spare time as you slowly waste away? You just sit at home. <laughs> With me now is Martini Steve, the producer of the Opie and Anthony show. So you've successfully duped the ONA fans into doing your production work for you again. How do you keep pulling this scam? <laughs> Steve, many of your promos feature deep voice socialites, houseboys named Ramon, and extreme violence towards women. How do you explain this? Because I'm American psychopath. Ramon, hybrid cars are for faggots. Just arriving is executive producer Ben Sparks. I'd hate to ask, but what happened to your hair? Here comes a story of <laughs> Oh God, you're herky and jerking like crazy. And what is that bulging out of your shorts? I've got big balls! <laughs> Is there any new gossip you'd like to tell us about, Mr. Sparks? Perhaps a new rumor about Tom Brady? <laughs> oh, God. I can't understand a word he's saying. So, anyway, I, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Sparks. I'm a bit distracted. Mr. Norton keeps staring at me. Mr. Norton, why do you have that look on your face? Are you trying to say you want to raid me? <laughs> no, wait, Mr. Norton, that's not the way this record is supposed to end. Help! Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. You've got the <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now that's the way it's done. Not Excellent. bad. He could have had more of a Dickie Goodman delivery, yes. but I won't hold that against him because his material was very strong. Yes, definitely. That. Uh, Who was that? That also gets a passing grade. Rob C. came up with that Rob one. Rob C. One. Bravo. Yes. A little more uh, Dickie Goodman. Yeah. But uh, very good, Rob. Very good. <laughs> the next one was the very racist one that we were listening to before the show as... Uh, as uh, one of the XM employees was trying to help Jaime out oh, in the background. This is uh, horrible. But, every, you know, it's our open forum, this program, and this guy decided to go just... Uh, I can understand maybe putting one in, but the guy just goes the complete direction of every joke here has to be horribly racist, and with the, those horrible racist songs, I don't know where he even got them. Couldn't have been this program. All right, well, it's uh, Johnny Griswold. He does a lot for the radio program. How long is it? Four minutes? Oh, my God. No way no. we're making it four well, minutes. Well, I don't know, guys. I think that, as they say, I may not agree with what you say, but I'll die for your right to say it. <laughs> we, yeah, we just <laughs> might. <laughs> Why don't we... Uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll hit play, and we'll, uh, we'll see how far we get with this one. Right. Johnny Griswold. Good morning, everybody. This is Johnny Griswold, and this is Whackbag Radio. 
Today we have Opie, Anthony, and Jim Norton in studio. Hey guys, first off, how many hours a day are you guys on the air? Wait, pal, one, two, three, four! Okay, four hours. And in four hours, you guys spend a little time talking about Howard Stern, the man who says he is the pioneer of satellite radio. What do you think of Howard Stern? We hate all shooters! Well, I imagine that would be your response. Anthony, it seems like you guys have a little war going with Stern. What's his response been thus far? <laughs> and you always refer to Robin as the whole. Why is that? I like sugar and I like tea, but I don't like niggers. No siree. There's two known things that'll make me cute. That's a hog eating sloth in a big black spook. Enough about the Stern show. Holy Opie, shit. you're known as the mean one. Where does that anger come from? I don't think I show me the way. And Anthony, a lot of people have said your anger comes from your divorce. What did your ex-wife do that has you so angry? That scumbag motherfucker ran off with a nigger. And a lot of fans want to know why you have so many guns, Anthony. The house next door to me has been sold to niggers. Oh my God. Yep, that would do it. Opie, you recently had some homeless people in the studio. What's the smell like in there? Some nigger never all right. Listen, man. All right. Look. Four in a row. I, I can understand the guy, why. The guy just went a little overboard. There's two on minutes this. to go. Yes, and I think we should we, again. It's an open forum, just because I don't have to actually face the glass and see who might be out there. No, that's pretty white in there. This is uh, uh, just uh, ridiculous. <laughs> Every four in a row. Just mix it up a little. Exactly. Let's see. Maybe maybe the next one isn't. I Even give this Dickie guy credit. Dickie Goodman mixed it up a little. All right, uh, get ready to uh, push pause though, because we might try to guess the song he uses. <laughs> uses. Go ahead. You guys take a lot of calls. Any state you hate taking calls from, and why? I'm an Alabama nigger and I want to be free. Hell but in the place he Opie, you say that O&A always win in the end. Why is that? Finally, Jimmy, you don't really like trannies, do you? Thanks, guys. Any final thoughts? Is that it? I think that's it. I got to tell you, too, the important thing I learned is a couple of those songs were actually not that bad. Oh, really? Meaning not with the saying, but the actual songs themselves. They have a nice little beat to them. Earl in Chicago. God damn Earl. it, dudes. God damn it, this is bad. Hey, Earl, go <laughs> ahead. We, we just got you on the air. What's up? This is bad. This is horrific. What the hell is wrong with you guys? We didn't put that stuff together. I'm not, not y'all. Why individuals making bad songs like this? Oh. I don't know. I'm going to be honest I, with you. I'm not really offended. This is funny as hell to me. I oh. guess there's a market for those songs. I've never heard uh, most of them, except when played in parodies. <laughs> like, you hear them like, as a goof, but I never heard them really sung on a station. Oh, yeah. I was, I, I've never heard anything that race before in my life, but it's funny as hell to me. All right, Earl. My God, it's just By one Earl. after another. All right, well, that was uh, Johnny Griswold. We have one more to play today. We're hoping to get uh, more in and better ones in. Make sure you... You really uh, do the Dickie Goodman impression, okay? A little Dickie Goodman trivia, by the way. Ooh, yes. what, Ant? You know, Dickie uh, died in 1989 at the age of 55. Good. Uh, Self-inflicted gunshot wound to no the head. No kidding. <laughs> Somebody finally played his song for him? <laughs> <laughs> he, he took a second, had a moment of clarity, and looked back on his career. I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Blam. There's a nice... Blam. There's... Go ahead. No, I was just to say Dickie Dwyer. He's feeling, <laughs> Dickie, please, we, you don't have to make any more of those songs. He's pulling it out of a bag. <laughs> Could be an idea for uh, for a listener. Interview Dickie Goodman about his career. Yeah, of course. And where it went wrong. Did he really kill himself in 89? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. I guess the uh, Dickie Goodman song about the Berlin Wall coming down wasn't, Shot himself. wasn't working out too well for him. No. Couldn't find enough songs to make no, it work. No, about that, to make that work, <laughs> right.
Yeah, after the one Pink Floyd reference he probably put in there, he's like, all right, nothing else. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> well, uh, who are we to say? Uh, Johnny Griswold's getting rave reviews on the phone lines. <laughs> Proving that we're broadcasting all over America. Let's go to Dave in Georgia. Dave. That's the funniest fucking song. And one of those songs, I used to live in Texas, and they used to play it at a nightclub. And uh, there were a few uh, darker people in there, but they even liked it. It was kind of funny. But that's the funniest fucking bit you guys done in two weeks, man. Let's clear this up. I doubt they liked it, but they just kind of felt like, well, we'll just kind of tap along so we don't get the ship beat out of it. I doubt they liked it, sir. Good point, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they laughed along. Well, there was two of them. There was two, and there was 500 white guys in the bar. With their fucking names on their own belt buckles. <laughs> right. Uh, fucking great, guys. Punch it out. <laughs> yeah, they, they were enjoying it. Sure they were. All right, finally, we got Carmine from the Bronx to wrap up this Dickie Goodman thing. Hopefully, we'll have more tomorrow. It's Ant and the Dolphin. In parentheses, it wow. says awful. Awful? Uh, right off the bat. I don't want anyone to have high expectations. Right off the bat, it says awful. The other one didn't say awful? Get him out of here. No kidding. No, the here. other one said very racist. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's take a listen and see what this one's all about. An ant and the Dolphin. It's Carmine from the Bronx. Open. I am having sex with a dolphin. And um, he... Uh, He's died oh my! I hear the dolphins are pretty horny. Dolphins are very intelligent, highly emotional, and expressive creatures. Express yourself. Are you a homo if you have sex with a male dolphin? Shit, damn! A bottlenose dolphin, their junk is around uh, averaging 12. They're packing 12. And the thrusting and the force of when they finish can cause serious internal injuries resulting in possible death. Tell you never want to get F to death, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it ends, all right. You know what this dubby did? It's like Holy he, he doesn't ask questions. He could have wrecked a bit for everybody. He right says there. something yeah. and then just plays a song that kind of touches that. Like he'll say, yeah. "So I went out yesterday and uh, I didn't know. Oh, I don't know." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> asshole! You can't find songs and then work a story around it. <laughs> the cheater! The cheater. guy almost killed the bit. Almost. We stopped it just in time, I think. So Anthony, do you do you need your education? We don't need no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow, that was really clever. <laughs> oh, that guy's a bum. He's a hoot. He's a mama Luke. What? <sighs> All right, Douche well. Douchebag. That's, uh, that's the first batch, Anthony. What are you trying to say? That he's a shit dick? <laughs> shit dick! <laughs> wow, good writing. <laughs> All right. So. And he would just tie it in really terribly. So, uh, Anthony, how much would it cost to have sex with a dolphin? Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. That's what you spend. It's horrible. Yeah. The listeners are wrecking our Dickie Goodman bit. I got to tell you, I think this is a great bit, but uh, they're not getting the concept. They're not getting the concept. They're not getting the impression. They're not using songs that are appropriate. They're They're matching up the dialogue with whatever shit song they can find instead of the other way around. Writing some dialogue that makes sense right? and then finding the songs that fit. Takes a little more work, people. That's See? Right. See, it ain't that easy. That's right. Maybe there should be a message board we can go to that said, that bit that was sent in today really sucked ass. That would, we should, you stink. Dude, we should start a message board. Yeah, just do it on MySpace. Just, That's it. Just, just everyone from the show. Yeah. And we just make fun of the listeners. Make fun of the listeners' that phone suck. calls, mm. their fucking CDs that they send in that stink on ice. That's a great idea. Dude, step it up. You guys are fucking, you know, asleep at the wheel. Oh, did you hear that fucking Dickie Goodman parody? <gasps> Yawn! <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. Uh, guys, just when you thought the bit was dead. Yeah. We got some good Dickie Goodmans uh, that came in. Yes. We were ready to bail on this, but uh, you need a few people to step up 
and get the uh, get what it's all about. Right. Embrace the spirit of the bit. Good old Dickie Goodman came up with these it. <laughs> these hack songs. Well, I, I guess they were comedy bits. Like I don't... little comedy bits, yeah, that used songs of the, the day. Whatever right. song was popular at the time, he did them. Did one on Watergate. On Jaws. Jaws was, I think, his most famous one. Yeah. Where he would play the news reporter in all of these things. And he would ask questions... Uh, like a news reporter would, but the answers are supplied by musical lyrics. That's right. Right. Who thought this would be a good idea? Well, Dickie Goodman. The songs were all over the radio at the time. Yeah. And uh, eventually Dickie Goodman took a bullet to the head. Yeah, uh, when Dickie finally looked back on his career in a moment of clarity and saw what uh, it amounted to, uh, he thought the only resolution for him was to take a, uh, a gun Put it to his head and pull the trigger. <laughs> yes. Well, we have uh, three new ones that came oh, three in. Three new ones. We start with P. Niggity. All right. His is uh, entitled Bitch Whore Chef. <laughs> oh, I can see where this one's going. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Burr. We are here in the servants' quarters of the Kumia Mansion speaking with Anthony's Whore Bitch Chef. Hello, Whore Bitch Chef. Can you give us an example of a meal you might cook for Mr. Kumia? What does Anthony eat for breakfast? Poor bitch chef, how do you respond to Bill Burr's allegation of an affair between yourself and Mr. Kumia? Well, I guess that settles that. Here comes Mr. Kumia now. Mr. Kumia, do you think I have a future in radio? Do you really think so? I don't think so. Mr. Kumia, do you have any advice for me? Mr. Kumia, what are you doing with that shotgun? <laughs> this record wasn't supposed to end this way. <laughs> See? There you go. Come Short, on. sweet. He, he, he did the voice right. That's what we're looking for right there. That's it. It's a great example. Topical. Topical has something to do with the show. The songs made sense to the questions he was asking. Yeah. See, people, it can be done. That's right. The next one came in uh, from Snapman. From Whack Bag. All right. And I, uh, I don't like this one. You don't like this uh, one? I don't like this one. Why? What's it entitled? Interview with Opie. All right. I can <laughs> see why you don't like it already. I don't really like this one. <laughs> I'm here with Greg Opie Hughes from the Opie and Anthony Show. Say, Opie, what's that cereal you're eating? Lean on me. Is there any <laughs> other cereal you like to eat? <laughs> and how do those cereals make you feel? I feel pretty and pretty and gay. Opie, you often rollerblade around Central Park. What do you do when you take off your rollerblades? Opie, you seem like a really tough person, but is there anyone who made you run and hide like a little girl? <laughs> Opie, you have a pretty young girlfriend. Just how old is she? <laughs> and why is she going out with you? Money. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. What did you think of the interview, Opie? I want to kill you. I want to blow you away. Well, in that case, I'm going to run and hide like a little girl. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's very funny. That's uh, Snapman from Whack Bag. Excellent. Yeah, topical, Actually, another great good. example of what we're looking for as far as these Dickie Goodman bits go. The voice, great. I think this bit might survive for a little longer good after all. And then the third one that came in overnight is from Anthony's brother, Joe. Brother Joe threw one together. Look at that, earning his uh, money. He did one on uh, Andrea Yates. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> this su one suggested this is brutal. <laughs> Strap in, kids. <laughs> this one is brutal. Good evening. I'm here taking a dump in the Yates bathroom with Andrea and her five little fuck-ups at bath time. Hey, little Yateses, what's going on here? Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Mrs. Yates, you crazy cunt. What was that you're just whispering in your daughter's ear? Hey, little Yates girl, where are you going in that tub of death? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you with all that water in your little lungs. Down, 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 down. Mrs. Yates, we know you're nuttier than a shit after eating 25 Snickers bars, 
But what do you think your children are? Three little fishies in an itty bitty pool. Mrs. Yates, what are your children's names? Sully, Jenny, Disco Bibble, and Boopy Doopy Doop. Don't you realize they're the fruit of your loins? Three little fishies and the mama fishy too. Uh oh! The little Yates boy isn't looking so good. What's that coming out of his nose? Tiny bubble. Uh, I notice you're using a very gentle shampoo on their little heads. Is that Johnson & Johnson's... Well, in that case, maybe you're not the worst mother in the world. Hey, little baby Yates, how did you feel as mommy squeezed the last bit of life out of your tiny defenseless body? I was I was Andrea, you uh -huh. kooky homicidal twat. How come you showed less emotion through this whole ordeal than an Asian hooker? Well, Mrs. Yates, you've finally done it, and all five of your children are dead. What are you going to do when their dad comes home? Celebrate. Thank you for allowing me to take a shit in your den of death, Mrs. Yates. Any final words before I wipe my ass and get the fuck out of here? Well, that's it. Till next time, Dickie Goodman, with no comedy on my mind and a big fucking bullet hole in my head. Oh, my God. Okay, terrific. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, of course... <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Wow. That was brutal. I don't remember Dickie cursing so much in his songs. No. no they were played on, like, WNBC. The reporters are usually a little straight. Like, they're yeah. kind of straight men. The reporters don't commentary about what the shit might look like after X amount of name brand candy bars. <laughs> Let's go to John in Utah. John, what's going on? Yeah, there's a, there's another Dickie Goodman song, Christmas one, that I heard on the uh, the uh, weird uh, Christmas channel you guys got here. Are you kidding? Uh, an interview with Santa. You guys got to hunt that one down. An interview with Santa. Hawks on yeah, it. It's... It, it's it's traditionally it's, it's a traditional Dickie Goodman horrible wreck, but you you guys got to have that too. I had no idea that there was a uh, yeah, there's a, a Christmas one. A Christmas one. We're looking for it right now. San All right, punch it out. All right, thank you. Santa and the satellite. Santa. There's a uh, there's a few of them. Oh, Dickie Goodman. Santa and the Touchables. Want to just try one of these? See what it sounds like. Let's play this real fast. We interrupt this record for an important news bulletin. Santa Claus is missing from the North Pole. Be on the lookout for Santa Claus. Last scene. Sitting in la la, waiting for my ya ya. Washington has decided this is a job for the Touchables. December 1961, at the headquarters of Elliott Press and the Touchables. Sent to the North Pole, the Touchables learn that someone has launched a toy spaceship, sending Santa to the moon. Alvin the Chipmunk says, hey. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer volunteers to lead the Touchables to the rescue. A new spaceship is ready for blastoff. Three, two, oh my one, God. zero. Okay, Alvin. Alvin. Chipmunks. Chipmunks are always funny, oh, but... Successfully landing on the moon, Rudolph and the Touchables are surrounded by the moon men. The leader of the moon men approaches Elliot Press and says... Which translated means... But the Touchables are not leaving without Santa Claus. After a brief battle, Elliot Press looks up and says, I'll be back on my feet someday. Meanwhile, Rudolph secretly leads Santa Claus to the spaceship. Out of gas, the Touchables harness Rudolph to the ship, and away they go. Watch out! There we go again. When was this made? 1950? That was in the 60s? That is, that is so awful. bad. That's actually the song on Anthony's MySpace page. It is not. It is. And I would tell anybody, go and see that it is not. All right, guys. <laughs>
C U M M I A, Cumia? No. Jim Norton. <laughs> you are really trying to undermine me. I'm L- not. Listen, let's my get, efforts. You're very famous. That is awful. That is really, really bad. Our listeners are coming up with better ones. Were they for kids, though? On was that fly. a kid's one or no? Like for like Alvin no. and the Chipmunks? No. It was for retards. People, adults liked Alvin and the Chipmunks back then. They are cute. Oh, well, there's another one. There's another Christmas one. Maybe this is the one he was talking about. The Touchables. Hit it. Here is a news bulletin. Santa Claus has been kidnapped by spaceman from a flying saucer, that which landed at the, the North last Pole. One? Be on the lookout for Santa it's Claus. It's the same one, right? Last you play that where... same one again, Hawk, and I'll smash uh, that monitor off your teeth. No, it's, uh, he, he didn't... It's it's listed differently. You tell him to fix it's it. It's listed like it could be a different one. Fix it. No, but it's not. But it's not is right. The Touchables just standing a bunch of kids. That? that guy made a career off of doing that. And then realized that and took a and bullet to the head. Blew his head off. That's so great. One what little soundtrack he was listening to and that bullet ripped his brains all over the wall. There's what a justified Wait, there's one for killing. There's one for Kong. And now with the new movie coming out, this is top of Kong. Kong. This came oh, out in the 70s. when the remake was made, yeah. I guess. Oh boy, this has got to be really bad. Strap in, kids. Oh, I can't take this. I, I probably will not be able to handle this. Ah, oh, there's a giant monkey running loose, and look what he's saying. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> where a 40-foot gorilla has just kidnapped Guan, a young actress. Hey, Kong, what did you tell her? Tonight, tonight. And what did she say to you? You've got a cute way of talking. When do you intend to let her go? After Guan, if you can hear me up there, what advice do you have for someone who was kidnapped by a 40-foot gorilla? Thank you, Juan. Juan? Okay. Kong, you're going to New York to do a concert. While you're there, where are you going to take a bath? One last question oh before you go. God. What do you call that weird way you walk? We are here in New York where the stadium is filled. Kong, what do you feel like with all these people around? Just a He doesn't want to do the concert. Juan, say something to him. You don't have to be a star, baby. He's oh, heading for the World what? Trade Center. We'll have to get help to stop this monkey. Kong has reached the Trade Center. He's climbing to the top. Kong, what are you doing up there? Why is something nasty on the wall? We are here with Kong on top of the World Trade Center. Oh, Army helicopters are he shooting at there in September Kong 11. is shouting something up at them. Hand me down the wall, Jim Kane. Hand me down my head. Tragedy is Dickie Goodman They've hit killed. <laughs> Kong, have you any last words to say to Juan? Kong, you're on my foot. We're falling. Kong, the record wasn't Kong! supposed to end this way. Kong! Oh, he's falling. Jeez, gonna do it all day. Holy, that, that was, I can't even say it anymore. How bad. He actually handed that in to somebody. Hey, what is this against my temple? It's a Luger. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, am I glad he shot himself. Oh, I couldn't be happier at someone's suicide. You know what? With the new uh, Kong movie coming out, we should take the original <laughs> Dickie Goodman. Yeah. And we'll rework the, uh, <laughs> the the clips. Oh, of course. The song clips. We'll make it better. Yuck. <laughs> that could be really good. I wonder if his family, what they said when they shot himself, they're probably all secretly relieved. Like, ah, we don't have to sit around and awkwardly smile Thank at these. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awkwardly <laughs> yeah. I have a new one. Here it is, family. Oh. And there he is, pops in the tape, and they all go, huh? Good. And they wouldn't even, they, it was good so dicky. unfunny. They'd say things like, I, I like that song. I like that yeah. song. That part with the, um, when you were falling, no. I really got the image that you were... Falling, and it made me so fucking happy. Oh no, something is spilled on my floor. It's brain matter. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we could do one on Dickie Goodman. Oh, that's great. Bullet in the head. Right. Sure. Yeah. Hey, man, nice shot. Hey, man, nice shot. Yeah, hey, we shot to the heart. <laughs> no, it's just to his head. It doesn't matter. Head. It's a shot. There's very few songs that, that say uh, shot to the head. Unfunny man kills himself. Hit me <laughs> with your best shot. Yep. Oh, man, we might have to work today mm. and, and put this thing together. Let's make it. Let's make Why a don't song, we boys? open it up to the listeners? <laughs> <laughs> like we always do. Yeah, we're just idea men. And then you guys take it and run. Let's make a record. Let's go to Eric in Colorado. Eric? Hey, morning, boys. Hey, Eric. Hey, hey there's one of those Dickie Goodman ones that he did about the oil crisis also. Oh, my Are God. Are you kidding? The big oil I mean, crisis? He was yeah, just a hit in the 70s, wasn't he? The, the, yeah, because the interview is with, like, King Faisal. And gold in my ear, and something oh, else. all the relevant uh, topical people from 1974. Let me ask you, Dickie, yeah. when did he shoot himself? Uh, I believe it was 85. in the 80s. I don't think we. I think we can just answer that question by listening to this music. Yeah, no kidding. No, no, not why, but when. I'm saying like, what did he try a hit in the 80s? People were so into Wall Street and doing coke. They're like, look, you irrelevant douchebag, just fucking drop that. Yeah, already. what was his last song that he really tried to? Uh, I think with Reagan. I think there, I think there was one in the '80s, but I don't. I'm not positive. But the '70s channel played these damn things all the time. Well, they were huge in the '70s. Yeah, they were very yeah. popular. So yeah, when when they were doing it, you know, the decade uh, run through, I think they played like ten or fifteen of them. Oh wow! Can we have, can we get a Dickie Goodman CD? There has to be a greatest yeah, hits. Now, boys. All right, thank you. You think he had dreams of a box set? <laughs> he didn't Back know what then. that was, but he knew he wanted greatness beyond what he would reach. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Guy and... This dream was a pine box yes. set. <laughs> I just want I just want to be awarded a satin pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Guy in Connecticut. Head like a hole. Like yeah. Nails. Head like a hole. Uh, let's see what the listeners can come up with That's first. A good and one. if they don't do a good job, <laughs> then we'll go into the production room and actually work. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you, Guy. No problem. And then they're saying there's uh, this one that he came up with. Tim? Yo. Hey. Oh, hey. hey. What's, What's up? up? Hey, um, I remember a song back in the 80s around the time that E.T., the movie, came out. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it was Dickie Goodman, but it was somebody that did the Dickie Goodman style. And one of the lines was, E.T. wants to phone home, but E.T., how do you call outer space? And then they played the clip of the uh, Tommy Two-Tone song. The oh, 8675309. Oh, no. oh, I wish we got to get that. I can't oh. find that one either. Oh. Uh, there is a greatest hits, though. Two. Two greatest Two hits. Two greatest hits. Wow. One called Greatest Fables by Dickie Goodman. Ew. Released in 1997. Fables. <laughs> Fable. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then The King of Novelty <laughs> Greatest Fables. Fables? I don't think Aesop shot himself on a linoleum floor. <laughs> volume 2. He had a volume 2, everyone. Volume 2. Is there a track listing for these? Uh, There's got to be a way to get these online. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see the track listing. More dicky. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? What? Sweetie, what? How many songs are there? All right, there? wait. Go back. There's, like, a working there's like 30 of them. Return of the Flying Saucer, Flying Saucer Part 1, Flying Saucer Part 2, Flying Saucer the Second, Flying Saucer the Third, Flying Saucer Goes West. It was a biggie. Santa and the Satellite, Santa and the Satellite Part 2, Santa and the, uh, and the Touchables. So those are all different songs, by the way. The Touchables, The Touchables in Brooklyn, Ben Crazy, uh, Batman and His Grandmother, The Ride of Paul Revere, Frankenstein of 59, Frankenstein Returns. Uh, get a job on campus, Luna Trip, Watergate, Mr. President, Energy Crisis, Mr. Jaws. Go down. Holy shit, there's 40 tracks on this thing. Uh, it goes on and on. 40 Kong, tracks, no laughs. Super Superman, Return of the Jedi Returns, Hey E.T., Attack of the uh -huh. Z Monster, Election 84, and horror movies. And wow. Safe Sex Report. Wow, someone's got to get this and go through some of these. And then, like, after the last track, like they did on Elvis's last live CD, they have, like, the when Vern came on and made the speech, thank you for listening, that was the last recording of my son Elvis. Yeah. I hope that's how Dickie Goodman's ends. <laughs> Maybe his wife or bereaved child comes on. Wow. <laughs> Embarrassed child. That was my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You want to hear Ben crazy? No, I don't I'm even... Just saying that I found the rest of them. Uh, oh, you found the rest of them? Yeah. Oh, shit. Do you have the... Oh, one? shit. <laughs> uh, no. 
Hawk. Uh, we have the Energy Crisis 74, though. That was. Want to hear just a piece of this one? I want to hear all of it. I'm sure it's good. I'm having some laughs. Uh, it's too long, though. We'll play a little bit of this. Listen. We are here at the White House oh, for a special report here. on the Energy off. Crisis. We're here. We're here. Are you? I didn't understand. Uh, why was Kong stepping on his foot and then they fell together? I, how did that happen? And why know. wouldn't Kong stepping on his foot bring him a little more pain? And why would it knock him off the building? Right. Wouldn't that keep him anchored? I don't. Yeah. I don't get oh, it. All these people. <laughs> Maybe because I don't. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, back up there because yeah. we got to hear the we're here again. We are here at the White House for a special report on the energy crisis. Mr. President, have you any statement? Mr. President, what really caused the energy crisis? During the crisis, how much gas will motorists be allowed? Just enough for the city. Who do you believe the gas shortage will affect most? Mr. President, the crisis must be solved. What do you intend to do? With me now is the head of the Federal Energy Office. Sir, you hold an important position. What are your qualifications? I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a That's funny. Mr. President, have you anything to add? Ah, Here with me that. is the new vice president, Chevy Ford. Holy Sir, Chevy how would you sum Chevy up the gas Ford. shortage? Why? 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 Oh, uh-oh. A new noise. We have a long-distance call from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> King Faisal, is that you? Hello, it's me. King yeah. Faisal, what are your thoughts when you look out at all those oil wells? You're beautiful. I have I gold in my ear of Israel on the other phone. Gold to my what ear. should I tell her? Won't you tell her that I love uh, her? Uh, Mr. President, have you any added comment? Uh, uh, Mr. President, funny. the American wow. people are waiting. Have you a statement? Why? Why would that mean? We'd like to continue this record on the energy crisis. But we have just run out of air. Hey, that's oh, pretty clever. That's, funny. that's a clever ending right there. That's clever. See, they ran out of energy. Very clever for 1974. And uh, you he couldn't quite uh, uh -huh. finish finish it up. Why? Why? What that's happened? Good. I thought it should end like, uh, well, we'd like to finish this interview. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would have been more Just when you thought the Dickie uh, Goodman story couldn't get it any better, we have Bob in North Carolina with some uh, some information. I was hoping it was Bob uh, Goodman. Bob? 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 <laughs> We're here Carolina. with Bob. Bob? Hey, guys. Hey, Bob. Hey, um, I seem to remember when I was listening to the uh, Stupid Last USA channel um, that uh, Dickie Goodman's son, um, if I'm not mistaken, started making the records like his dad did. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully he suffered the same fate. Yeah. Uh, but down, uh, still we didn't hurt something. dad's business. <laughs> There's a proud moment for this kid. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right, Bob. I'm out. Bye. Want to follow in your father's footsteps right until you're slumped into the corner of a wall in a motel alone? <laughs> With brain matter behind Listening you. Listening to your own unfunny dreck. Speaking of Dickie Goodman, we got six of them that came in overnight. Six yes, of them. Six Dickie Goodman. Now, now, people, don't panic. Don't panic. I know they're probably going, I'm not sitting through six Dickie Goodman parodies done by your listeners. No, and we actually came in early today and decided to pre-listen to stuff. Yeah, we to listened save you the to them. To save you the trouble. The <laughs> agony. <laughs> to save you the trouble and the agony. And we found one that's worth playing. Mm -hmm. One out of the six that came in. And it's from Booby Man from Brooklyn. The six were so incredibly bad, they weren't even good enough bad to play. Not like bad where it's like laughable, just just yeah. bad, yeah. boring bad, yeah. stupid bad. Yeah. And then the last one on the list uh, was playable only because it's it's what it is. It's terrific. It's Listen this. to this. We're here with Mr. Dickie Goodman. What are you doing, Mr. Goodman? Thank God. And that's, that's it. it. Terrific. That was the only one worth playing today, and I think it's, uh, I think it's a statement too. I think, like Dickie, 
the bit itself. I'm hoping it has a gaping head wound. <laughs> we'll see what uh, Monday brings. Yeah. I, I know we just did a backstage, but Sam also did a backstage about Michael Jackson. I think Sam met Michael Jackson. No. Huh? No. Yeah. 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 And now, backstage with ONA. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and you might not know this, but several months ago, Obi and Anthony had the late, great king of pop, Michael Jackson, live in studio. While that tape has been lost, we were able to track down the tape of the interview that we had with him after his O&A appearance. Here it is now, complete and without edits. Hey, Michael Jackson, how did your appearance go on O&A today? It was very bad what they did. Bad? I hate to hear that. What exactly went wrong? They manhandled me very roughly. My shoulder is dislocated literally. It's hurting me very badly. I'm in pain all the time. Michael, there's no feasible way that Opie and Anthony had the opportunity to interview you and instead used the time to physically assault you. See this arm? This is as far as I can reach it. Same with this side over here. If you, if you saw what they did to my arms, It's very swollen. Oh, Michael Jackson, how could it have gone so poorly? I saw at one point you had to take a bathroom break. I asked to use the restroom, and they said, sure, it's right around the corner there. Once I went in the restroom, they locked me in there for like 45 minutes. There was due to feces thrown all over the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and it stunk so bad. Wow, well, I guess that's why they call it the shit factory. Michael, I'm sorry Opie and Anthony spent the morning abusing you physically and mentally. It's all right. Wow, how unexpectedly reasonable of you. Have a good day, Michael Jackson. Come back anytime. There you have it. Michael Jackson in a rare and candid moment exclusively for you, the ONA fans. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with ONA. You know what? That's not a real fucking interview. <laughs> Jesus. He made that up. Yeah. Wow. What was your name? Literal and Angry Jim. No, it's overreacting, overreacting Jim. Jim. Literal and overreacting. Oh, overreacting Jim. And Literal Jim together. Literal overreacting Jim. It's a combination of characters. <laughs> it really is. Literal overreacting Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anthony, I'm not a real guy for Christ's sakes. <laughs> oh, no. Give me that child's underpants. I'll talk to Uncle Paul right there. <laughs> oh, wow. You're like the late, great fucking uh, Fred Travelina. Yeah. Oh, he was marvelous. Marvelous. Entertainer. He, he was really, he was a complete entertainer. He yeah. would do all those voices. Yeah, all picture. <laughs> Fred, if we do all the Jack Nicholson. <laughs> good riddance. Yeah, he was good. Rich in Baltimore. Rich? Ah, lucky you. Morning, boys. <laughs> hey, Rich. Hey, Sam, you're gonna, Sam's going to have to get rid of that primetime moniker and change it to Sam Dickie Goodman Roberts of that crap uh, interview. He was Sam did. doing a Dickie Goodman impression? Sam, there? completely. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Give me a Dickie Goodman song, man. Was, Come on. Completely ripped off Dickie, Dickie Goodman. Goodman. Yeah. Except Dickie, Dickie Goodman had some very funny ones. Oh, did he? Yeah, you know, he always made me... He was really... You hear the song he did about the shark? That's oh, the Pulse. The, the Jaws one. Yeah. Wasn't there one about a streaker? Oh, yeah. They. I like really the old. original song by Ray Stevens. Yeah. Why don't we find a really good Dickie Goodman to play so for everybody? we got so many to choose from with all of them on here. Uh just being pulled up left and right by a butcher. Yeah, Erock, no. do we have do we have that at one decibel? Got I just on the board had now? I just heard the soothing voice of Erock in you my made, You made you uh, made a personnel change. Very nice. You I went, to the, you went to the you went to the phone. Mad. We went to the bullpen. We went to the bullpen. Denver <laughs> Pest wants to know uh, what's next, Mister Jaws. <laughs> oh, I love Mister. <laughs> no. Do you have Mister Jaws, no, Travis? No, it's please. So bad. King Tut won what he should have won, which was a fucking braining <laughs> from someone who didn't want to listen to his advice. And I, and I see what Anthony's doing here. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. You referenced Mister uh, Jaws because you really want to hear it. Why no. would you just reference it out of nowhere? Mister Jaws was funny though. Because I. Oh, because oh, it's on the stage. This no, is this actually funny. Yeah, this is really good. Here on the beach, uh -oh. where a giant shark has just eaten a girl swimmer. Uh oh. Well, Mr. Jaws, how was it? And what did she say oh. when you grabbed her? Please, Mr. Please. I know sharks are stupid, but what did you think when you took that first bite? How sweet it is. <laughs> Mr. Jaws, before you swim out to sea, have you anything else to say? I 
be friends. See? Just get along with the shark. With me now is the local sheriff. Sheriff Brody, the shark will be back for lunch. What do you intend to do? Do the dance. Oh, Turn us off for a second. This is terrible. You piece of shit. Oh, this Walking is down terrible. the fucking hallway. I'll never forget you, you piece of shit. Oh, that guy, yeah. Double agent fuck. Go ahead, Travis. Back I to the song. I can't listen to this. <sighs> when you catch one of these sharks, what do you feel like? Like a rhinestone. Sight of the shark again. He's coming straight for us. Captain Quint is shouting something at him. Get your baby one Hey, Jaws, <laughs> the captain says he's going to catch you. What do you think of that? Uh -oh. Here he comes again. They've hit him. Mr. Jaws, <laughs> why doesn't that? anything seem to hurt you? Boys don't cry. Yeah. Yeah, he's don't coming cry. right onto the boat. Mr. Jaws, why are you grabbing my hand? Wouldn't you give your hand to a friend? No, wait, your friend. Mr. Jaws. That's not the way this record is yeah. supposed to end. Help! No, it's supposed to end with a gunshot and you being quiet. Oh, I like that part. He's frowning. Exactly. You don't, like, you don't like that song? We should redo those. Do you know let's have something? Kenny, let's have Kenny do a, a, a brand new version of that. Do you, what? Do you understand that in the 70s, yeah. that was... Huge. What was his name? People would Dicky Goodman. <laughs> he had a he had a million of those. People would fucking like freak out when the ra radio guys would be like, "And coming up in the, the next hour, we're gonna play Dicky Goodman's Mr. Jaws." You're right. It, it was huge. Every, it was everywhere. And people thought it was the funniest fucking thing. Can we? Can, I, I, what, what, what I, the, I guess we needed AIDS. I hate the way he's interviewing a shark. <laughs> And, like, he's interviewing the shark, and the shark is singing answers out of Yes. Him. It yeah. was all the popular songs of the day, by I the way. I got it. <laughs> Mr. Shark. It wasn't lost on me what he was doing. <laughs> Anthony, what we need to do, though, can we, can we talk to Kenny for a second? Can we turn Kenny into the, the brand new Dickie Goodman and make him do one of these? Kenny, could you do a little Dickie Goodman for us? Do you think us? he could do it, Dickie Goodman? You know who Dickie Goodman is? So, could you be dickhead good for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'll say two things. I do what I'm told, and I'm very talented. Ah, you're you're very talented. Right. That's Absolutely. Could you give us your Dickie Goodman voice? Yes. Well, you're not cruising thinbelts.com. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A belt? A, a belt slash shoelace? <laughs> Why do you have such a thin? Belt? That fucking tiny belt. You're, you're too belt. big for it. Thin thin get me a ruler, Sam, please. I have to know. I have to what? know how wide that fucking what? piece of shit belt is. That is. <laughs> Look out. It's awful. It's an inch. What? I've had fucking. I've had glasses with the fucking the band around it was, was the wiring was fucking thicker than that. I understand what you were. I know. I banded around. I couldn't. <laughs> I, I need to overexplain it. We know what glasses are held up by. What else could it be? The racetrack around your glasses, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit! That is really a linguini belt. <laughs> yeah. Someone is saying we should play the OJ press conference by Chris Rock. I don't know what that was. What? Maybe we can take a look. I at don't that. know what that is. I think the problem is that your fucking belt loops are, are are basically constructed for bigger than that belt. They're they're ready to handle fucking tank treads, and you have that <laughs> that thinny thin belt. There's Jimmy, there you go. The Let Jimmy do it. Jimmy, please measure. Here it is. The thinness of Kenny's belt. Remember, he's like six four. <laughs> It's exactly one inch. It's one little inch. <laughs> of a one belt. inch thick belt. He's got an inch of belt around his uh, pretty Giant ample body. Full body. Right. Yeah. I said it was an inch. You were yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we shouldn't question that. <laughs> I said it was an inch. And I probably measured it all the way around to make sure that it didn't deviate from the inch. <laughs> and filed it down. <laughs> yeah, you got to be consistent in filing my belt. Kenny, we got a new job for you. Like the pleats in your pants, too. Okay. That's, yeah. That's great. Very nice. It you, gives you that uh, dick bulge. Where's your dry... Yeah. <laughs> well, where do you get your fucking clothes dry clean? 1988? He's got a lot of room. Ball room. He's got a lot of room in his Ball slacks. Room. He's got a lot of room in his slacks. <laughs> you do keep things roomy down there, yeah. Kenny. You always Very have. Very roomy. It's great. Well, here, here's the problem, if you must know. All right. Okay. I'm misshapen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you what do you mean by that? Well, see, I'm very muscular. Yeah. 
So, like, I got a big torso. Uh huh. But my waist is not in proportion. Proportioned. Yeah. To yeah. The, to the torso. Oh. So, like, if I buy a suit, mm -hmm. I got to get like fifty-two long. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then. Like the pants for a fifty-two long is like a forty-eight waist. Ah, uh, it's crazy. You don't have a forty-eight waist. Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, the tailor every time he sees me coming, he's like, "Oh no!" That's what everyone says when they see you coming. <laughs> <laughs> True that. True that. <laughs> so you wear the the belt. The pants are loose fitting, yeah, so it's yeah. not to. And plus, you got a, a long ball. rise. Look yes, this. you Look got a up. lot of room. Yeah. Your zipper is about uh, two feet long. Yeah. You have a very long zipper yeah. on your pants. And like, and remember that time we, we had breakfast, I sat down, and Robert Kelly made the comment? Robert, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had, uh, it all phantom, pops up to make it look like a boner. Phantom dick. Teacher, teacher bulge. Or teacher teacher bulge, right. And he would, he would push down on the top of it. It's where when you sit, your, your jeans or your pants kind of bulge up in the front and look like your dick might be in there, but it's usually not. Yeah, because I got nothing to fill out that space. Ah. Oh, Kenny. Oh, don't Poor cut Kenny. yourself short. Right. right away, you're getting fresh. Sell yourself short, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <either Yeah>. Way. <laughs> so, so could he do a, a brand new Dickie Goodman for us? Yeah, that would be good. Can you do one? Do you know what the Dickie Goodman thing what, is about? Do we have playing? another? Yeah. Well, give us another Dickie Goodman song oh, there. Oh, I have like 30 Dickie Goodman songs. Oh, I know songs. you guys want to hear. Well, is name a few. A yeah, name a few of them. Batman and His Grandmother? No. no. Flying Saucers Part 1 and 2? No. no. Kong? Maybe. Batman Maybe. and His Grandmother is actually huge. Santa no. and the Touchables? No. Okay. Speaking no. of ecology? No. no. Super Superman? Mm, not anyone. You're not for you looking for oh, a no, good no, one. No, 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 terrible. No, no, no. There was another one that was a big hit. Is what? Uh, what the Ride of Paul Revere, at. Watergate, The Touchables in Brooklyn, what was the, the Constitution. Th they're all fucking horrendous. Mr. President. He's dead, isn't he? Mr. President might be good because it's very dated. Is he dead? Dickie Goodman? Dickie Goodman, is he dead? I hope so. Kenny could redo Mr. President, but I think we'd get fired. <laughs> yeah. oh, I hope yeah. whatever Dickie Goodman died of it hurt. <laughs> he was just trying to get by. Slow. Oh, Jim, he was just stop. trying to get by with his silly songs. Awful. It was his thing. That's true. It was just, you think they played him at the wake? Mr. Jaws! I hope so. Mr. Jaws! Mr. Jaws! You're swimming up on... Right. With the horrible we New York it. accent. You're Jewish. All right, here, Kenny, this is what we want. Shark with a bullhorn, compelling. <laughs> we, we want you to do this type of thing, but a brand new one with current events, okay? All right. Can we hear some of the Superman? Yeah, of course. Here we go. Ah. It stinks already. We are here on the planet Krypton, where a spaceship carrying a tiny baby is about to be sent to Earth. Super baby, what will you do on Earth? Ah. Oh, my God. We are here on Earth 30 years later with Clark Kent. Uh, Mr. Kent, besides being a mild-mannered reporter, what are you really like? I'm a soul man. Uh, one last question, Mr. Kent. <laughs> Mr. Kent. We switch oh, you now sound to our on-the-spot reporter, Lois Lane. We are here with Superman. Super, why did you really come to Earth? It's fun to stay at the what? I've heard you have x-ray vision. This is what so can bad. you see when you look, look at, at you. me? I wonder if he knows what I'm thinking right now. I'd like to be naked behind a bush in someone's yard. If you're Margo Kidder. Everyone knows you're able to fly. What can I do to make me fly? <laughs> to you. We are here at the hideout of arch villain Lex Luthor. Uh, Mr. Luthor, if your plan for a giant earthquake is successful, what will happen? <laughs> but look! Up in the sky! It's Superman! Oh, Superman has stopped the right. earthquake and right. saved Lois Lane. Let's stop this well, song. Mr. Luther, no, have you please. any last words to say to Superman? You have to be a big shot. <laughs> oh, and yeah, as Superman perfect. and Lois Lane fly <laughs> off to the super disco, we hear Lois oh, Lane saying, and Superman saying, baby, Oh, that's a nice horse. I'd love to ride it. <laughs> no? Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, wow. That was I, terrible. I, what? I, I got it. 
<laughs> I got Kenny, it. can you do a new version of that? You got to pick the songs. You know the pop songs, so you can work it, off that, yeah. and, the, and the dance tracks that you know very well. It would take some thought, but I'll get my production team on it. You know what? Maybe Ann and I will contribute a line or two. No, no, no. I will not that's, be part of that's why I said maybe. maybe. That's why I said maybe. You guys do more than your fair share of pulling your weight around here. You're mm. so right, Kenny. Well, don't yeah. bring me so rock right. into this. Thing. <laughs> yeah. oh. Our weight. Right. <laughs> also known as oh. lug and lard. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, we're also being reminded that we, <laughs> we, should for we, uh, we, we did this bit a couple of years ago. The listeners uh, did their own Dickie Goodmans. Did they? I don't remember. I don't remember one of them. A I guess bunch of people saying, hey, idiots, you, you had the listeners do this a couple of years ago. All right. I'll well, how about, the they, how about they do it again? It's Where been a while. They? Maybe we could get an example of a listener's uh, uh, version. Um, Do yeah. we have one? Well, Iraq. Iraq. Oh, Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> but let's uh, make it official. If the listeners want to do their own Dickie Goodman. Yeah, thing. We'll, based uh, on, we'll play uh, the better ones on there. Maybe air. based on show, uh, show and things, current events. Current events, sure. of course. Exactly. Popular so, music. Popular music. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Get on your Dickie Goodman. He's been trying to trip me up. And send them in when they're uh, when they're done, and we'll play the best ones. Yeah, and Kenny will do his own, which will yeah. also be the worst ones. I don't know. He's got a production team, <clears throat> Troy I Kwan, sure right? Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan. You think he's on it right now? Starting to write some shit. Oh uh, yeah. As soon as soon as I give him the green light, mm. I'll get I'll get prime time Sam Roberts. Look how happy Kenny is. I know. Sit with the big boys. And <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I'll get. Oh shit! What little Nikki? Oh, oh out shit! With the Help out with the production. Ooh, yeah, it's cool. And what are they going to yeah, do when you're finally a, shaving? That's a triple threat. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Sam, is this true? What I'm saying? Yeah. That he's demanding airtime. Why? Well, I, yesterday he saw me cutting up the audio from the Lady Gaga Larry King interview, and came up with a bit idea. Insisted. Did it go down? Yesterday, when I didn't do it immediately, because I had other things that were more important to do, he put up a huge fuss. He went over and told Troy that I was ignoring him. Just over and over until finally I said, all right, let's go record this. We did his bit. He didn't take any input on any writing. He refused to do any writing. He said he would figure it all out. He would improv it all. And then insisted it be made and presented to you and that you be told that it should be played once an hour. And we have it. And this is it. We're going we're gonna to play it right now. Kenny, is this true? Of course not, G.H. Who are you going to believe? <laughs> <laughs> we have to believe you and Sam's the liar? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sam's the one starring from airtime. How many shows Sorry, does... Does he need to be on this show? Ron and Fez, Serious Hits, Morning Mashup, Shady, and don't forget his own show. Yeah, yeah Special Delivery. Right. Thanks. So who's starving from airtime? Four, not uh, from. Yeah. Who's starving <laughs> from airtime? You don't starve from airtime except when you're on. The listeners are starving for some intelligent conversation. <laughs> yeah, and it's not a bit. This is an actual event that occurred. It's monumental. See. That's how you know it's his. Okay, so this is you, Kenny. Did you yes. interview Lady Gaga? Well, let's li let's take a listen. <laughs> Hi, it's Club Soda Kenny from the Opie and Anthony Show, and I'm very happy because I get a chance to interview Lady Gaga. Thank you for joining us on the program, Lady Gaga. I would like to ask you my first question. Jim Norton from the Open Anthony show would really like to have sex with you. Would you fuck him yes. or would you allow him to fuck you? Yes. Now, there's a big rumor that we need to dispel. Do you have a big clit? Yes. Do you love getting fucked in the ass? Yes, of course. Oh, Lady Gaga, they're telling me you have to go. Is that true? No. All right, just a few more questions since this interview is very interesting and compelling. Are you a size queen? Yes. Do you like shit play? Yes, of course. Does fecal matter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Lady Gaga, do you know that Jim Norton is playing Caroline's on Broadway this weekend? Yes, of course. Well, thank you for your time, Lady Gaga. This has been a very informative interview, unlike the one you did with Larry King. This is Club Soda Kenny from the Opie and Anthony show saying goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Surprised she was so tolerant of you. Oh my god, that's so bad. That was so incredible. You don't think that was well done? <laughs> no. Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore. Dickie Goodman just shit in his grave. Yeah, yeah. He's that Kevin from Connecticut. This is fucking awful. Oh. Ethan from Florida. Sea cu- cucumber dick is clearly lying. <laughs> it was very Dickie Goodmanish. I don't know if that was a real interview. Kenny Badman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that interview was incredible. You have to give me credit. Incredible is what it is. It's not credible. <laughs> no, that that was the greatest interview that this show has had in a while. Wow! Wow! wow. Well, we had a nice interview with Jonah Hill yesterday. No. Uh, George Wendt and this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you want us to play this every hour? I I I think you know we're trying to you know we're on stars two now. We gotta uh, pump you know, it up, step it up a notch. Yeah, you're Oof. riding in the fast lane. Because Make sure that, we, we have some pop culture stuff for the people. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. All right, Kenny. Jeez, I think that was clever that was though. Good. Huh? Well, the way he you know was talking and she just kept saying y- yes <laughs> and you were stepping on her as she's saying yes you can find times. you no. can find another way she said yes by the way she she talked over me oh oh she was talking over you yeah oh okay yeah but did you notice how i pulled the answers out of her <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy shit play with <laughs> Yes, and and she said yes, of course, and stuff but like that. It sounded so, yeah. exactly like the other yes, of course. Yeah. Well, I got I got the answers. I did better than Larry King. Why don't you go back and interview Mister Jaws? <laughs> hey, you want to do a like a Dickie Goodman, like a legit one with music and songs? Yeah, I, I, don't know, I just have you, to feel it. Like, it well, you, I mean, the subject could obviously you be the feel or- a bullet. <laughs> yeah, if it, Kenny ever kissed a girl, I'd want her name to be Charlene. <laughs> here, here it is. The, the topic would be the oil spill. That's what Dickie Goodman would do. He oh. would get some big fucking story that everyone's talking about, and then you find the music, and then you you ask questions, and then it's answered in song. And Can you, know you do what, this? You know what Dickie Goodman would do though. He would interview the oil slick. The hey, oil, Mr. Oil, oil slick. slick. What do you think you're doing out there in the ocean? Right. And then there'd be like a swimming song or some kind of like, Splish, splash, I was taking a <laughs> bath. Hey, Mr. Oil Spill, what are you going to do to those beaches? And, you know, you, then you just throw the songs in. He's sure. What do you think you'll be doing in a few hours? Sitting on a dock of a right. bay. Exactly. Perfect. That's what you got to do. So you're yes. interviewing the oil slick. Good. As Mr. Dickie Goodman. Mr. Oil Slick, you're heading to Louisiana. What could that possibly mean? The house next door to me was sold. <laughs> well, you could just, you know, you could just go. Every fucking day. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Can you do your Dickie Goodman voice for us? Can you do some Dickie Goodman for us? You guys just did the bit. I can't top that. Oh, no, Kenny. we're just giving you examples. <laughs> You're, you're going to interview the oil slick. Two minutes. Could, you, could we get this done there, Sam? Yeah. You and Troy and Kenny? Where's Troy? Tell Troy to start working on it now. Does he know, like, pop culture songs and rock songs? Yeah. Oh, oh see? Look, people are starting to come in. Hey, Mr. Oil Slick, careful with that cigarette. And then you play Smoke Ooh. on the Water. Bam, bam, bam. Right? It writes itself, oh, Kenny. Oh, it writes itself. I'm Yay. just going to copy everything you guys <laughs> just said. Yeah. Well, you could use other. Uh, we, we were looking for well. Dickie Goodman to play like a verse of it, just one verse, not you, the whole song. You got a little Dickie Goodman? I've got so much Dickie Goodman. How about oh. the original? It's so funny. Well, do you want one? another one? Well, uh, name the ones you got. Well, I got Batman and his grandmother. No. Oof. Berlin Top Ten. No. Flying Saucer Parts One and Two. No. Oh. Never. Kong. When it says Part One oh, and Two. Kong. Kong? No. Uh, Mr. Jaws. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Jaws is the famous one. <laughs> yeah. Mr. President. All right, we should just go with Mr. <laughs> I Jaws. Said that. Jaws. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. (laughs) 
just it was extremely clever to be honest with you. It's never right. It's never right. Stephen S. from Bayshore says you got to include one uh, ABBA or ABBA too. Yes, yes, ABBA has to be in there. Yeah, because Dickie Goodman uh, loved the yes. ABBA. All right, here's an example of uh, a Dickie Goodman. And, and, Kenny, you're doing this. You're going to interview the oil slick, okay? Yeah, but I'll be overworked now. Don't. I already did a bit this week. Why are you week? depressed? <laughs> overworked? <laughs> Why are you depressed? You got writers. You got producers. This is going to be good. You know what it is like working with Troy and Sam now? <laughs> what? They're holding me back. Why are they holding you back? Because, you know, I'm so talented creatively. Here, play the uh, Mr. Jaws so 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 Kenny could feel it. There's... Oh, this is so bad. We are here on the beach where a giant shark has just eaten a girl swimmer. Well, Mr. Jaws, how was it? And what did she say when you grabbed her? Please, Mr. Please. I know sharks are stupid, but what did you think when you took that first bite? How sweet it is. Mr. Jaws, oh. before you swim out to sea, have you anything else to say? I can't breathe, breathe, breathe. I can't breathe, breathe. With me now is the local sheriff. Sheriff Brody, the shark will be back for lunch. What do you intend to do? do the dance. Why? Make a love. Like Just arriving is oceanographer Matt Hooper. Sir. If someone is attacked by a shark, what should they do? do the we are going aboard the fishing oh. boat of Captain Quint. <laughs> Captain, will you be able to catch this giant shark? Thank you, Captain. Captain, Captain, Captain. When you catch oh, one of these God. sharks, what do you feel like? Like a rhinestone cowboy. Oh, We've just so sighted bad. the shark again. He's coming straight for us. Captain Quint is shouting something at him. Get your baby one. Jaws, uh -huh. the captain says he's going to catch you. What do you think of that? Uh-oh, here he comes again. They've hit him. Mr. Oh. Jaws, why oh, doesn't nice anything effects. seem to hurt you? Big boys don't cry. Big boys don't cry. He's coming right onto the boat. Mr. Oh. Jaws, why are you grabbing my hand? Wouldn't you give your hand to Mr. Jaws? No, wait. Mr. Jaws. That's not the way this record is supposed to end. Record. Help! Help! Oh, I'm so... I could not be happier he's dead. <laughs> I can only be happier if he died while making that song. <laughs> oh, did he put the dick in Dickie Goodman. <laughs> the fucking thing was played all over the place, though. That it was huge. was huge, and people loved it. That was the original it. one, right? Oh, yeah. the 70s were awful. And and he can't even deliver his lines right. Mr. Jaws! Mr. Jaws! Oi vey! Yeah. Oh, Kenny, you could do that, right? I tried to do it once before, remember? It didn't Steve. work out. Yes, it was a monumental bomb. Ooh, you're losing confidence, are you? Oh, but this Sam? is an easy one. Uh, Sam, on. bridge over troubled waters, someone said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Duh. <laughs> Did right. you just go, duh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's got no room to talk. We should criticize his uh, it's one show. Heritage. Oh, oh. damn. We already <laughs> did that. <laughs> no, he's so distasteful. Oh. Why is he just... Why? Uh, he, he's making fun of the Al Gore after 40 years of marriage. The Al Gore? Yeah. What did he say? Oh. Yeah, he goes, oh, Al Gore and his wife are breaking up after 40 years of marriage. We know who's to blame for that. Global warming. How are your knuckles shedding? Kenny's <laughs> <laughs> knuckles are shedding. <laughs> it's from hitting the heavy bag bare knuckled. Jesus. They're callous. <laughs> shedding. Oh, yeah, they're Kenny. callous. Yeah, you should do one of those, though, about the oil slick. Mr. Oil Slick! Yeah, yeah do it just like Dickie Goodman yeah. did the yeah, Mr. Yeah, Jaws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add in shit that makes no sense. Solutions, yeah. maybe. Yeah. You What's know? a popular song? There's a few of them. I don't know.
<laughs> Mr. Oil is like, what's your name? Alejandro. Yeah, exactly. That would be perfect. You just got to take a song of the time and throw it in and shoehorn it in yeah. with no apparent reason like, yeah. like Dickie Goodman did. <laughs> Mr. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. We're going to do this. We're going to do this thing. You read, Mr. George? <laughs> You're right, Mr. Hooper. You're always <laughs> right. <laughs> what a maroon. Oh, dolt. Let's go to break with Kenny singing a little Lady Gaga. We look forward to the bit, Kenny. Don't. <laughs> hey, uh, remember when we told Club Soda Kenny to do a Dickie Goodman? Uh, Otto's old school. Remember oh, Dickie yeah. Goodman? Mr. Jaws. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, sure. Those those novelty records. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying yeah. they were good. Yeah. They were terrible. Yeah. Did you laugh at them? They, they were, were huge in the no. 70s. No, I didn't laugh at them. King Kong is climbing the Empire State Building. Yeah. Kong, what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember those. And then add some what about solemnly. <laughs> yeah. Can we play another Dickie Goodman for everybody? Oh, there's no one in. I didn't hear. Fuck, I'm sorry. Got to find a woman. Got to find a woman. Got to find a woman. That guy. Yeah, I remember him. Oh god. Hey, uh, and you know another Dickie Goodman? I think there is a, a Kong there is one. a King Kong one. Why don't yeah. we do that one then? What the fuck, Butch? This is so Butch, bad. Can you find that real fast? You want to fucking get douche chills until until y your jaw's ready to snap. This will this will lead to. He uh, wasn't as bad as the Grease Man, though. Yeah, water doodle. You know what the Grease Man? <laughs> I remember no. slinging lead? I was with SWAT. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, we walked in and people started shooting at me. I fired back. I fired with my guns. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And he shot back. Oh, my God. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck happened? That went nowhere. <laughs> yeah, slinging lead. Slinging lead. Oh, jeez. What a doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the King Kong Dickie Goodman. Check it out. We are here on Skull Island where a 40-foot gorilla has just kidnapped Juan, a young actress. Hey, Kong. What did you tell her? Tonight, tonight. And what did she say to you? You've got a cute way of talking. Uh. When do you intend to let her go? <laughs> After loving. Juan, if you can hear me up there, what advice do you have for someone who is kidnapped by a 40-foot gorilla? Thank you, Juan. Juan, okay. Kong, you're going to New York to do a concert. While you're there, where are you going to take a bath? At the car wash. One last <laughs> question before you go. What do you call that weird way you walk? <laughs> we are here in New York where the stadium is filled. This is Come, so what horrible. do you feel like with all these people around? Just another new kid in town. What? I, What's that mean? I, I... Kong is breaking loose. He doesn't want to do the concert. Juan, say something to him. You don't have to be a star. What? what? He's heading for the World Trade Center. <laughs> uh -oh. We'll have to get help to stop this, this monkey. Oh, yes. That's what I said about Mohammed Atta. We'll have to get help to stop this monkey. <laughs> He's climbing to the top. Kongs, what are you doing up there? Why do something nasty? We are here with Kong on top of the World Trade Center. Why? Army helicopters are shooting at him. Kong is shouting something up at them. Hand me down the walking cane. Hand me down my hat. What? They've hit him. Kong, have you any last words to say to it's Juan? Like... Will I hold you? Uh, what does that it's mean? It's like the worst home answering machine outgoing message of all time. <laughs> it just He's goes on forever. It stings. Hey, Kong! <laughs> you're on my foot! We're falling! Kong! Oh, I hope Kong! This... Kong! How unfunny. Wow. Yeah, how bad was that? That guy was a jerk. First of all, why would the gorilla allow himself to be interviewed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's on, he's first he's at Skull Island, and then he goes to the York. Like, how does he following this? How does he have access to this gorilla? And he knows, and the gorilla knows like how to sing the songs <laughs> and has music. Sense. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make. I, why yeah, would he it, sing? How did he get songs? copyrights from fucking Stevie Wonder? <laughs> yeah, he's a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
Fucking Otto. Oh Stress God. factory tonight. Otto and George. And I don't know why would he be... <laughs> Why wouldn't the gorilla just step on him? He, <laughs> shut up your he did a bunch of those, that dick. Is he dead? Oh, is he, yeah, he, yes. Thank he God. He the shotgun. <laughs> thankfully. Right. Did he really? Isn't that right? What happened? Oh, if he shot himself. Didn't I'm, he kill himself? Did he hang dead? himself or shoot himself? What did he do? He did kill himself. We know wow. That. Yeah. Why? Did he put out his, some bad oh, songs? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dickie Goodman, you're Bang laying in the coffin. Him. What yeah. do you have to say? <laughs> God. Ever say I'm sorry? Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, you know. I said, nice shot, man. You know, Dickie. Well, good to man. wish bad things on another awesome. is to bring bad things on thyself. Oh yeah, uh, that's a Jim Spiration oh, was... moment right hmm. there. You loving the Jim Spirations on? Oh, they're great. Goodman they really died in North Carolina in 1989 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Oh, it's great. He is survived by <laughs> his sons Jed and John and his daughter Janie. Jed, John, and Janie Goodman. Self-inflicted gunshot. We see a, we oh, see a picture of him. That? Old Aim McGillicuddy. He yeah. just fucking by '89, no one wanted to hear his drivel anymore. Yeah, yeah. I got another one. <laughs> oh, his heyday was behind him. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. I got something. Uh, how can we get some of that, uh, you know, maybe some Guns N' Roses songs in there? And no, yeah. Dickie, no one wants to hear it. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. King of novelty. That's great. Wow. I'm here in my home. <laughs> <laughs> Dickie's last recording. <laughs> Dickie, uh, what do you have to say to that barrel? <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. Do you feel sad about it? I could give a shit. <laughs> Fuck Dickie Goodman and his kids. <laughs> yeah. You should have taken out John King's daughter. <laughs> Jed, Jerry. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, goodbye, Jed, John, Jamie. Yeah. God. 89. So fucking offed himself show, 20 man. years too late. That's so great, though. He probably had a few more just fucking duds. They're like, that. Oh, it's, God, they it's, had it's to be just, oh, really? Dickie, it's over. <laughs> My record label dropped me. What'll I do? <laughs> you coward. Do you think by the end of his life he had a mailing list? Fine. There's no more no, big record company. No more big record company. <laughs> he had to mail out his latest oh, hits you to know individuals. He wasn't even in that period where he could have gone internet. Right. You know? Yeah. Like he just lost his record label and had nothing left. So yeah. he's mailing cassettes. He's just staring at that Jaws gold record on his wall because that yeah. one kind of fucking yeah. sold big. Can, can, bad luck for him hung by the, where the shotgun was. <laughs> <laughs> He's glancing at both of them. Uh, maybe I should give it one more shot. Well, speaking of shot. <laughs> That's it, Dickie. Adios, Dickie. Uh, we hardly knew ye. That's it. Well, he really did have it coming, didn't he? The last, <laughs> Put the some mail on it. Yeah. The last song of Dickie Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Here comes my daughter Janie! <laughs> <laughs> After hearing my last song, what did you feel like doing to me? <laughs> uh, here's something better than my last outing. <laughs> <laughs> what did his last song sound like? <laughs> Dickie Goodman. Dickie oh, Goodman. God. And here it is, the final song of Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, they're almost here! <laughs> wow. Here comes my daughter, Janie. Uh, Janie, look! <laughs> oh, uh, stupid Dickie Goodman. Fuck you. You really hated him that You're much? Rotting corpse, good. Yuck. Wow.
Oh. With that, Anthony, we're, we're trying to bring Dickie Goodman back. We, we oh, gave, good. Thank we, God. Yeah. We gave Club Soda Kenny a, an assignment. Oh. This is Club, Club Soda Kenny's going to be doing uh, some Dickie Goodman for everybody. Oh, wow. oh good. And, and just like Dickie Goodman, you look at the news and you, oh. and you, you, you look at a big story. Uh -huh. And in this case, that oil spill is a big story. So we told Kenny, do a Dickie Goodman using the oil spill. Oh. Like yeah. you're interviewing the oil spill. I think yeah. You right? How did it go, Kenny? Time will tell. I wish Dickie Goodman was here so he could go, Kenny, what about that camel toe? <laughs> <laughs> Club soda camel. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> Sam, comment before we play Kenny's camel toe. Kenny's oh. version of the Dickie Goodman bit. He was very reluctant at first, but he let himself have a good time, and I think he's happy with it, but he's oh, yeah? afraid to say it before you guys hear it. All right, we'll be the judge of this. Want to get right into it, Ant? I sure do. All right. Club <laughs> Soda Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Janie finds him. This fucking useless brain all over the wall. <laughs> oh, oh. And that was before he shot him. So. <laughs> Just a teeny little red fleck. <laughs> His awful Jufro that he had. <laughs> she thought Juan Epstein killed himself. <laughs> oh, you guys killed oh, me. Shit. Mm, funny shit. Show ever. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've never been so happy to hear that somebody fucking ate a bullet. Oh, oh I know. Uh, it's <laughs> never brought me such joy. Goodman. You think the people listening on Stars 2 are a little shocked right now? Uh, some of them. going to do? Come on. Please give them examples. Yeah, come, come, on. On. come on over to the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's uh, uh, Club Soda Kenny doing his version of Dickie Goodman. Hi, it's me. Club Soda Already Kenny, stinks. here on the Gulf <laughs> Coast with the oil spill. Hey, Mr. Oil Slick, are you killing a lot of fish? How are you going to fix this, Mr. Oil Spill? What will we need to do that? Do you like hurricanes, Mr. Oil Slick? Do I want? I said, do you like hurricanes? Oh, baby, you know what I like. Hey, there's some residents of the Gulf Coast. Excuse me, residents. <laughs> what did you say when you saw the oil coming? Oh, my God. What would you all be doing if there was no oil spill? Serving USA. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's a surfer out there right now. Hey, Mr. Surfer. <laughs> How are you riding your board on the oil? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Eric Nagel, what are you doing here? Because of that, 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 that. Oh, jeez. Back to you, Mr. Oil Slick. Why is this taking so long to fix? Can't touch this. Well, before I go, Mr. Oil Spill, did you know that Jim Norton is performing at Caroline's all weekend long? Thanks, Mr. Oil Spill. <laughs> oh, it's just as bad as It's just as good, meaning um, bad. Sure. My favorite line is when he goes, uh... Um, what are you doing here, Eric? And he goes, because I'm fat. Instead of saying, why are you here? <laughs> yeah, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing here? here? <laughs> <laughs> How do you say hurricane, uh, too? Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane. His <laughs> <laughs> favorite fish is hurrings. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, I think you did a good job right oh, there. Wow. Well, I, I owe a lot of credit to Sam and Troy. Yeah? You were just yeah. trashing those What guys. about Dickie yeah. Goodman, the inspiration for the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. No, why don't you, you, why don't you, you go guys. the distance and really yeah. you know, imitate him? I got a 50 cal if you want to exactly. put a dent in your head. Dickie, Dickie could have performed from the flotilla. That the, that the Israeli commandos were on. Oh, no, is that a pipe? <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore, Dopey Goodman is a retarded hoot. Yes. <laughs> Dickie Goodman. <sighs> wow. Uh, how how long ago so was often. his suicide? Was it like years, years 89. ago? 89. 89, wow. yeah. So, wow. you know. Uh, wow. wow, I missed the anniversary of his yeah. uh, suicide. We all did, I guess, last year. How did that happen? <laughs> Can we read what, it, what, like, what inspired it? We obviously know why he did it, but yeah, what, is there any Wikipedia, Wikipedia say? stuff on him? Because yes. I want to hear. I want to. I want every gross detail. Yeah. <laughs> of why he was despondent. The last thing, like, was his wife left him and she threw one of his forty fives at him. Why don't you make another fucking record? <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> Jesus Christ. People don't even have record players anymore, Dickie. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, but I'm going to get it. Let's put it on compact disc. Nobody. It's a new medium that shut up, Dickie. <laughs> You're useless. 
You're a fucking dinosaur, Dickie! A dinosaur! <laughs> As a big black gentleman comes in and escorts her out. <laughs> Dickie couldn't take it. <laughs> oh, Fantastic. Nice light green velour suit. Oh. Giant bulge in the front of it. He punches yeah. him in the face because he thought the King Kong thing was about him. Dickie <laughs> 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 Goodman sucks. He really is horrendous. Oh, so glad he's dead. Oh, that was the most fucking, that was the most deserved ending anybody's ever oh, come to. Of course it was. <laughs> Jesus. Anything, uh, Danny, anything happen? Any fun facts about Dickie's uh, death? I'm reading now. I'm just trying to find some, like, any kind of info. It says here that Dickie, when he shot himself, was broke and brokenhearted, so I'm assuming that he had oh, great. some failed relationship. Oh, fantastic. Good. Dickie. And he was broke. All that Mr. Jaws money. <laughs> His first and apparently, went back he, like to the, the fifties or something, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. What was he doing in the fifties? Hey, the same shit. Mister Mister Black's shit only water fountain. <laughs> 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 what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say when a Negro drinks out of the white fountain? A bob, a bob, a bob, a bob, a bob. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. German Shepherd and the guy with the fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, Governor George Wallace. <laughs> oh, I love it. He went back that far, huh? Uh, How old was old Dickie when he decided to have 30. a lead fucking he was 55. Jolly Rancher? 55. What? 55, and apparently he did it at his son's house. Oh, oh, that's really? nice. How considerate. That's nice. Wonderful. Let him clean up the mess. But his son egged him on. Hey, Dad, you hungry? Here, oh. he handed him a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> he put some peanut butter and jelly on it. Bet his suicide note was a hoot. <laughs> hey, Mr. Coroner! <laughs> Try to find all my brains, could you? <laughs> <laughs> it was suicide, Sam. <laughs> Sam, he put a gun in his mouth, and he took his life. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so happy, but I oh, got to listen to that King Kong one. You <laughs> gotta wish death on him. Horrendous. Someone wow. said the the Star Wars one is really bad too. Oh, oh. God! You want to do the Star oh, Wars yes, one? Yes, I do. Please. Do we have that there, Travis? <laughs> oh. You might not have it. Uh, oh, if it's named Star Wars, I don't have it. Let me have it online. Hey, uh, Mad Dog's saying you're wrong, Travis. That they're not going to do anything with that call. Well, Mad Dog and I have differing opinions. I still think he's going to oh. do something. All right, well, we'll have to mm. find out later today. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's got to say something. With everyone talking about that perfect game oh, thing. Oh, there's got to be a Star Wars uh, one. Yeah, supposedly the Star Wars. I, I would give you credit. I don't, Maybe, uh, I don't know who sent that yeah. one in. But, uh, Can't find it? No. I thought we played it once. Hey, Darth Vader. Hmm. I'm sure he had all of them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chewie. Oh, God. I think he did, like, Pac-Man or something. I think. Did he do a Pac-Man song? I think he did, like, one of the video oh. games. I'm obsessed with him now. No kidding. He's all I think of. I just want to... He I comes up on the show every once in a while. No, well, he did one on Jaws. Yeah, yeah we did played the Jaws one. You played that the Jaws one. So bad. That's yeah. where it should have stopped. Yeah. But he decided, no, the world needs more of these. <laughs> more what dicky else good. He, he had like 20 or 30 of them. <clears throat> Awful. No Star Wars? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Uh, thought there was. Damn it. Oh, well. Eh. Hmm. You want to hear another one anyway? Yeah. Which one you got? Which one? Oh, I got a bunch. Yeah. Uh, Super Superman? Uh, oh, that was, when, that was when the Superman movie was big. All right, keep going. Let's Boy, see one else. hit after another. Santa and the Touchables. Yeah. Touchables. The Ride of Paul Revere. Yeah. I guess the Touchables was a big one, because then he's got the Touchables in Brooklyn. Ugh. And then he has just the Touchables. Ugh. Mm. Enough about the Touchables. Uh, Watergate. Uh, Watergate's probably a good one. Let's try Watergate. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mr. Liddy. Oh, oh. Are we dating ourselves doing a Watergate one? I guess all of these are... Yeah, they're all old. I know. I figure Star yeah. Wars. Don't no way to sound young and hip playing these. <laughs> yeah. Dickie Goodman, you're right. <laughs> what am I talking about? All right, let's do the one. Mr. Game. Nixon, I'm a Jew. <laughs> hey, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hate the Jews. He did a Miss Pac-Man. He did do a Miss Mrs. Uh, Miss Pac-Man there, too. Oh. All right, let's do the Watergate. Water and now for the news, we take news. you to the White House. Mm. Mr. President, have you any statement regarding Watergate? Watergate? Oh, whoa, stop How that. would you describe the Watergate incident? He can't say... Why is he saying Watergate? 
<clears throat> Why is he? Maybe oh. he wasn't allowed to say it or something. Oh, maybe God. it was some copy. Thinly disguising it. Copyright yeah. infringement? Yeah. Water great. Why would you say water great? He could say it. Great. Was yeah. that his way of saying that? Was he making a political statement <laughs> with, his, with his bit? He's saying water great. He said it twice. Water great? He's, he's saying that on purpose. He certainly is. Ugh. All right. And now for the news, we take you to the White House. <laughs> Mr. President, have you any statement regarding water great? Mama kuma, mama sa, mama kuma, kuma sa. What How would you mean? describe the water great incident? <laughs> Mr. President, what were you doing at the time the incident took place? Dragon wise, go to order, dragon wise. And how do you oh. feel about it now? Here I am, stuck in the middle. Mr. President, what? what will your position be from now on? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Clean. All right. This is 1973. <laughs> what will you be Oof. saying at election time in 1976? It's been three long years. Uh. Uh, just arriving is the first lady. Uh, how would you describe the president? He's a free and gentle flower, growing wild. Oh, my God. Uh, with me now is John Snitchell. And uh, Mr. Snitchell, Snitchell, who do you believe was Mitchell. responsible for Watergate? <laughs> In a phone call, Mrs. Snitchell had this to say. He's the funkiest worm in the world. Here with me is John Bean. Uh, sir... How do you think the president will wind up at the end of oh all my this? God. Reeling in the east, stowing away the time. This is so Mr. President, bad. What do you feel you have going in your favor? <laughs> I knew Jesus before he was a superstar. <laughs> have you any final message for the American people? You are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> this record is not over. The vice president has just arrived. Sir, can you tell us who will be the next president of the United States? I want to apologize to everybody. I, I tapped out 20 seconds in. Wow. What uh, happened? Was it good? Yes. Mike, Mike Wayne good. from Texas says it all. Where... Where is this asshole buried? I need to shit on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> I need to shit on his grave. Like, do you know how wow. shocked his family would be? <laughs> no, probably not. If they went, <laughs> they went there on Father's Day time. or something, and there was just fresh stools on his uh, where his final resting place. It's about time they would say. I have Star Wars. If it's called Star Wars. Star Wars. If you guys Star want to hear it. Oh, oh, God. Do you want to hear this? I don't want to, but I have to. What the hell? This is like oh, drugs. You just, you know they're bad for you. <laughs> Vinny Brand, How did this come up? Uh, Vinny uh, Brand is here. Was he supposed to come in what? and do oh, some radio shit. with us? Poor Vinny. Where's or, Vinny? Or, yeah, or Ziato's valet. <laughs> What's the deal yeah. with Vinny today? Yeah, we should bring Vinny in. Where is Vinny? No. Has he been here the whole time? Huh? He's Vinny's been here for a little bit. A little bit. Oh, he didn't use, oh. A little bit. But how come he just left? Dickie Goodman ran, so it was tough to oh, okay. stop the flow. But he wasn't here since Otto was here. Wow. I don't know. No. Otto. I hope he was. Otto. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes down the hall. All right, Dickie here's Goodman. Star Warts. Warts. Okay. Get it? 3PO. 3PO, we've got to get help. What are you guys going to do? What? We are here on the planet Tatooine, where the two robots Tatoon. have just landed. There's Luke Skywalker. Luke... How do you like living on this planet? Ooh, Suddenly appearing is Ben Kenobi. Ben has a mysterious message for Luke. I'm in you. Oh, you got a little sample. I thought it was the whole thing. It's, just it's a little sample. Well, that's all yeah, that's okay. Believe me. That's okay. I that's could not need. make it through an entire <laughs> no. Star Wars. <laughs> no. Wow. No. Thank God that ended in a fucking big flash at his son's house. <laughs> Just a big flash of light, and that was it. Vinny, you remember Dickie Goodman? You're old enough to remember Dickie Goodman. Dickie Goodman? I don't remember Dickie, Dickie Goodman. Dickie Goodman! Were you listening down the hall while we made no, your way? No, I can't hear you down there. <laughs> no. Or in here. Because I'm, I'm You can't deaf. hear anyone. You sound a little like <laughs> Dickie Goodman. <laughs> Who is Dickie Goodman? Mr. Jaws. Mr. Jaws. He did the interviews with, like... Jaws and would play music for the answers. 
I still don't know. Questions? Yeah, you would know. Shut up. Otto's <laughs> telling us you're a pain in the ass down there at the stress factory, and, yeah. and, and we're thinking you should leave Otto the fuck alone. I, I understand. What do you Otto's think of that? What do you think of that? That, uh, that I'm a pain in the ass at the club? Yeah. Because I count chicken wings? You count chicken wings? You get you depressed? Said that. Well, I think he does. No. Do you, you count chicken wings? You have to count chicken wings. That's what I sell. That's, that's like Henry Ford counting who is, tires. Who is count <laughs> chicken wings? <laughs> of course I fucking count them. <laughs> so it's something. <laughs> yeah. Count the chicken wings. What do they do? Ants in back or something? Do you, do you find that the dirtier acts you sell more uh, drinks? When they're, they're, the they're blacker acts more chicken wings. I, yeah. The black acts. <laughs> the, yeah. the, uh, oh the dirtier the act, the yeah. more they drink. I fuck yeah. the chicken wings. But like, they're not going to drink enough tonight, Otto. A guy like Bobby Collins, they order cake and coffee Certs. and shit. Cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a cheesecake mm. and a tea. Do you have a yeah. bottle of water? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> I don't care for the language. That's, that's the whole problem when you get a clean act. Any curse at all, you get some old lady that complains. <sighs> Yes, miss. All he said was cunt flaps. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, we got to go back to the dicky gummy. Cause What's going on now? E-Rock just uncovered something that I forgot all about. What is it? Space Hitler. Hello? Space Hitler. Did we do a dicky gummy in Space Hitler? Maybe we could get this bit going again with, with uh, <laughs> some of the stories in the news now. We had the listeners do their dicky Goodmans, and, and yes. we have one with Andrea Yates that your brother did. And oh. remember Space Hitler? Yeah, it was a big favorite of mine. I, I, want, I just wanted Hitler in space, hmm. like as a character. Right, yeah. so this guy did as Dickie Goodman. Okay. This is London calling. Here is a news flash. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. I hate hearing that. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. I feel like I'm there again. Hmm. <laughs> We're here in outer space with a 20th century dictator in a 21st century rocket ship. Here's Space Hitler. <laughs> space Hitler, you killed yourself near the end of World War II. How is it that you're traveling through outer space? Very interesting, Space Hitler. You are rumored to have exterminated six million Jews. Can you give us your reaction? Very funny, Space Hitler. Is there another group of minorities you've had your sights set on for total annihilation this time around? What were you thinking when colored athlete Jesse Owens did so well in the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Here comes Benito Mussolini, or should I call him Space Duce? Benito, anything that you'd like to say about Space Hitler? He's my favorite hunger. Space Hitler, how did Eva Braun take the cyanide on that final day in the bunker? Any thoughts on racial integration? I know kin to the monkey, no, no, no. That's all the time we have for today. Farewell, Space Hitler. I remember I it like being better. One. I remember it being better. I like than that. Space you like that one, Hitler, but I hate that. You think that's funny? Yeah, I remember it being better. I don't think that. that was good at all. I think the notion of space, space Hitler is funny, but yeah, that was yeah. not funny. Like no. the idea of Space Hitler, yes. Hitler in space, yeah. is, is, is good. Hitler, Hitler outside of his uh, maniacal killing is always funny. Like Hitler at a birthday party, Put that's Hitler funny. Hitler anywhere except as the Fuhrer. Yeah. Uh, and, and he's just a riot. Yeah, like <laughs> someone singing happy birthday to Hitler, that's yeah, hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking around all kind of yeah. embarrassed. Would you get me? And then he's got to make a wish and blow the candles out. <laughs> Well, you know what his wish is. <laughs> a lot of candles on that one yeah. little cake. Just to exterminate the candles. <laughs> uh, Major League Baseball reviewing the safe call. A uh, mad dog is going to be fucking wrong. I love they're the gonna, fact they're the going to turn this know. thing around and they're going to figure out how to. Save I, I love. I love how this stupid MSNBC. They have their fucking tag in front of the base. You can't see the play. Yeah. They're playing. They're showing the play over and over again. But their fucking crawl and logo and shit. Is in the way. The crawl should read, trust me, it's really bad shit. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> but is that terrible? Is that how fucking it's lousy the, the networks are? It's the worst when they do golf highlights. You never see yeah, the cup. Yeah, because you never see the cup. And Everything who, who on television. Watch, lately. here it is. Okay, watch. I, I know it's radio, but now here's the play. That's the final one. Oh, okay. Safe. <laughs> he just called everyone safe. <laughs> Became a nine to three Detroit loss. <laughs> Game ends at four in the morning. <laughs> forces everyone to sit there and suffer. Hmm. Uh, a bad call. You want to hear the brother Joe one? I'm not giving up on this. Which thing. one was he doing? We've only been he, doing it for four hours. We yeah, really. Like, <laughs> he did. He did uh, uh, Andrea Yates. Andrea Yates. Okay. As Dickie Goodman. Oh, All right. Geez. Brother Joe fucking hits him out. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because we can't leave with the space hit. I know. That, that, was, kinda, that was pretty funny, though. Good evening.
evening. I'm here taking a dump in the H bathroom with Andrea and her five little fuck-ups at bath time. Hey, little Yates's, what's going on here? Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Mrs. Yates, you crazy cunt. What was that you're just whispering in your daughter's ear? Yates girl, where are you going in that tub of death? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you with all that water in your little lungs. Mrs. Yates, we know you're nuttier than a shit after eating 25 Snickers bars, but what do you think your children are? Three little fishies in a itty bitty pool. <laughs> Mrs. Yates, what are your children's names? Sully, Jenny, Disco Bibble, and Boopy Doopy Doop. Don't you realize they're the fruit of your loins? Three little fishes and the mama fish too. Uh oh, the little Yates boy isn't looking so good. What's that coming out of his nose? Tiny bubbles. Oh, God. <laughs> Andrea, I notice you're using a very gentle shampoo on their little heads. Is that Johnson & Johnson's... Well, in that case, maybe you're not the worst mother in the world. Hey, little baby Yates, how did you feel as mommy squeezed the last bit of life out of your tiny, defenseless body? First I was afraid, I was <laughs> Andrea, you kooky homicidal twat. How come you showed less emotion through this whole ordeal than an Asian hooker? Well, Mrs. Yates, you've finally done it, and all five of your children are dead. What are you going to do when their dad comes home? Thank you for allowing me to take a shit in your den of death, Mrs. Yates. <laughs> Any final words before I wipe my ass and get the fuck out of here? Well, that's it. Till next time, Dickie Goodman, with no comedy on my mind and a big fucking bullet hole in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he put the fucking bullet thing in it. Uh, All right, that's well, not well, bad. See, Joe got the spirit of the bit. Cut so, we'll cut cut our, like him. Um, yeah, that was good that we oh. cut our losses with the, the Space Hitler oh, and went to that one. funny. What an ass. Very, that's very, fucking very, very brutal. <laughs>